Tubby, let's go. What's going on, Tubby? How you doing? Thanks so much for the sub, man. Appreciate your support. Solo Pichu, too. How you doing today, Tubby? Five months, let's go. Who went down today? Internet went down today? Aw, oh, that sucks. Was your uh, thingy today or yesterday? I forget. In, in what? Internet went down yesterday. Oh. Gotcha. I was like, well, looks like Tubby had to go. So <laughs> I figured you just had to go. I got gotcha. you. No problem, no problem. Did you, uh, I saw you were playing this morning. Did you, uh, get any more missions done? get an MRI but surgery slated for around December 16th I don't know I had a MRI once it was for my uh, my hamstring I had uh, I tore my hamstring in uh, uh, five years ago actually 2017 it was a water skiing situation it was my first time water skiing and also my last time water skiing I was on my second run I have it on video, of course, if you're interested in seeing it at some point, let me know. Uh, um, I was on my second run and I was like, you know what, if I hang on a little longer, I might be able to stick it out. Well, I hold on, held on a little too too long and uh, my, my legs kind of, my right leg kind of just split off to the right and uh, that tore my left hamstring. It sucked. I didn't even know it was torn actually. We were in uh, North Carolina, so I had to drive about eight hours home before that happened I mean after that happened uh but it was all right it wasn't too painful after the surgery actually what's up MJ how you doing today MJ uh, I went back to story mode I'm still too under geared for the onslaught mode oh the uh the conquest thing gotcha gotcha yeah, I would probably suggest just playing through the uh, story mode and just hopefully finding guns that are about what I'm getting. I'm probably getting about uh, gear score 250 for the guns that we were playing with yesterday. I had lots of CT scans, just a couple MRIs, not a big deal. Hmm. Well, uh, good luck, Tubby. Good luck with all that. Mm -hmm. So around 170 and gear sword? Not bad. It's not bad. Alright, I will grab a little peace treat. Oh no, never mind. She is downstairs eating, so I'm gonna wait till she comes back up. All right, so I've been like hardcore trying to level up these two guns that I have right now, which is the STG-44. I'm using a blueprint, that's why it's called the Rat Attack. But that is the STG-44, it's an AR. And I'm trying to level up this uh, Car 98, which is a sniper. And for some reason, all of these guns now are all like level 70, like which is the max level. And this gun, I finally hit uh, level 70 yesterday, last night. This one, not even halfway there, so it's gonna take a while. And I haven't, honestly, I haven't really used any other guns. Uh, I've tried the MP40, that's about it. Uh, I didn't really, didn't really use it that much. I mean, a level 40, so I guess I did use it a bunch, but 
I was trying to hardcore level up those two other guns because I like those other guns a lot better. Um, but at some point I'll switch back to this one and then we can venture off to the other guns, I guess. But I definitely want to uh, level up some of these guns and unlock, unlock some of these attachments before um, the new Warzone map comes out next month. I think it's probably going to be first week of December, so we have like a couple more weeks to level up stuff. Uh, Tubby, you gonna get a Vanguard? You know what I read the other day? I read that Vanguard was the... is now officially the worst selling Call of Duty game in the, uh, like, sort of the franchise. And by worst selling, I mean they were still, like, they sold a lot. Still. Why is it the worst selling? I have no idea. Maybe because um, we've already had a like World War II game before and people just weren't interested. I don't know. I mean, you've seen me play it several times now here. And I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me see. Like there wasn't a whole lot of hype is what people have said. Honestly, I don't really read into the hype stuff. Uh, or other people's reviews, really. Um, but we can see what people say about it. Uh, the Vanguard sales are the lowest since Call of Duty 4. When did Call of Duty 4 come out? Call of Duty 4 came out in... So that was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. It came out in 2017. I'm 2007. So in the last 15 years, 14 years, this was the worst selling Call of Duty, apparently. Uh, they hate any game if it's too much like the old games. They hate it if it's too different from the old games. Yeah, it's true. You can't, you can't really win here. But, I mean, honestly, I think it's a good game. I'm having fun with it. I think there are some things that can be fixed, but no game out there is perfect, really, I think. Um, but I bet it has a lot to do with, uh, because it's another World War II game. Like, back to World War II. Let's see. I want to see why people are saying this, though. I wonder how many copies it actually sold. LOP. All right, let's see. Let me grab a little piece tree. What's up, chicks? Oops, I played with the microphone too much. The uh, I was bored. Come here, Lippy. Come on, treat. There you go. High five, shicks. All right. Lopi was not having waiting for me to play with the microphone. She was like, I'm out. Hey, what's going on, Amos? How you doing, man? Biggie. I'm doing well today, Biggie. How are you doing today? How are you guys doing? It's good to see you guys here so early. 
So I've been using this uh, perk called Forward Intel. See indicators for enemy reinforcements on your minimap. Minimap shows a larger area. So what this does is it shows you where your enemies are spawning in to the map. And uh, it doesn't tell you exactly where they are, but it tells you which direction they're coming from. Like either that way, that way, or that way, whatever, or behind you. So you have an idea of where where they might be coming in. Of course, if they have something on such as ghost, which then they'll be undetected by that intel, I think. Pretty sure. Which they wouldn't I wouldn't be able to see that. But not everyone's running post. So I I feel like Fort Intel is pretty good, uh pretty good perk to use so far. So we're gonna have team deathmatch, domination, kill confirmed, and patrol on a rotation. Owie, what's up, Owie? How's it going, Owie? So it has been full of OS patching, so not too bad, just boring. So just click button and uh, play solitaire on your phone until it's ready to go, right? <laughs> what are you eating for dinner, Owie? Anything good? You know we want to know. I have heard of that life before, Piggy. Uh, my husband, DT, he does that all the time. All the patching and stuff for servers and whatnot. Did I see XP codes on Doritos bags at the store the other day? You might have. Um, definitely possible. I'm pretty sure I've seen them uh, collaborate with them before. Macaroni and sausage. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. Domination. Dig in and hold the objective. This will separate the weak from the chaff. Securing Charlie. I hate this map. Yo, a moss coming in hot with the 200 bits. Thank you, moss. Appreciate your support. We're slowly but surely getting towards our uh, capture card gold that we're trying to get here. That way we can play in all of my 1440p glory of a monitor. Right now we're just playing in 1080. Kind of sucks to be honest. But looking forward to being able to get a better, re higher resolution capture card for us to play on. Forget 1440p glory, we need a little p glory. Nice. Oh my god. Thanks, Owie, for the little p treat. I'll wait for this after this round, though. Oh my god. We're warming up, guys. We're warming up. <laughs> Not my supply box. Charlie is overrun. Hostile recon in the air. Spies in the sky. They're sending mortar shells. Saying little Petries, but I was back when I tried to get them. Yeah, boss. Well, so there is a cooldown for the for all the rewards actually. It's a 15 minute cooldown for a little piece treat. 
The other ones are uh, like different. I'm not. I don't really remember. Oh god, they're behind us. Oh god, dogs. So yeah, the little Petri. There's a 15 minute cooldown. Owie just gave one to her, which I haven't actually given to her yet. But uh, after that, uh, you should be able to do one for her in about 15 minutes. And then there's a two person limit. I mean, two treat limit per person per stream. And there's eight treats limit per stream total. Yes. This is a really bad map to start out the, the day with. I'll stream Bork for some reason, in which case it's hacks and uh, we get to start over the limits all over again. And then little P gets more. Yep, that's right. Jesus. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got one. Got another. Closing with Abel. Wow. See that high five. High five Moss. Uh, so what are you playing these days, Moss? Anything good? Still not into Vanguard? I'm trying to convince Tubby really hard to, to get it so we can play together, but... Daisy? Loving it, uh, worked throughout the game. I've never played it, actually. I've heard of it, of course, but... to learn a lot from YouTube videos because it's not very easy to learn while in game. Um, that's like the survival stuff, right? Oh, I should have switched the sniper.
game coming up. Graphics aren't great, but it's good. You can die uh, quite easily even by drinking the warm water or applying dirty bandages. Isn't it kind of like an older game though by now at this point? Like it's been around for a bit. I feel like, oh my God, this map is the worst. Oh boy. V2 rocket inv- I've never seen those before. It must be because they're wrecking us so hard. But it's basically a nuke or something. That, that's what it is. Yeah, I haven't seen those before in this game. Well, F and chat. <laughs> Already sure the game's over? V2 rocket. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I, I guess it's like the new nuke or something. All right, let me grab little P's, uh, little P's street. P's coming in hot. Come here, little P. That's a good girl. All right, here you go. Thank you, Owie. No delayed. That's a good girl. Let's get three treats. Hey, I gave her an extra one earlier. She got extra treats sometimes. She shouldn't, but she does. Love that dirty water. Hey, where'd she go? I went to look at her. She's gone. <laughs> she's skiing bones. No, she's not. She actually gained, uh, probably gained a couple pounds. Well, she probably gained at least a pound, I think. Uh, I haven't weighed her, but since uh, getting her insulin shots and stuff, her weight has come back up. They say that uh, cats that have diabetes uh, actually lose weight. So if they start to lose weight, that might not be a good sign. But she's gaining weight now, so she definitely doesn't have it anymore because we give her the shots. Thanks for that hydrate, Amos. I'm hydrating with my tea. Domination. Hold the objective. Win or lose. That shit's on you, soldier. Taking able. This is a fairly decent map. They're taking Baker. News on Lopi. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I need to take her back for um. No shit. I need to take her back for a dental cleaning as well as a check on her fructosamine or whatever or something. Basically for her like kind of diabetes stuff, just to kind of make sure it's all all in check and whatnot. But we gotta do that, but I, th I don't think we're gonna do it until January. Just for convenience Charlie. sake. What's going on, Gnome? How you doing, Gnome? Uh, because, just because, you know, Thanksgiving's around the corner. Thanksgiving's around the corner, we have... We have a little weekend trip that we're doing. Um... To our friends, gotta do a little road trip there. Ah, 
Oh shit, now. Uh, for the weekend, and then, uh, next thing you know, uh, Christmas will be here. And my parents are actually gonna come down a few days ahead for Christmas. They usually don't come down for Christmas, actually, but, uh, they're coming down because, uh, we're doing a trip after Christmas with them. We're, we're taking my parents, uh, south and east. It'll be a little kind of beach trip, off-season beach trip. So my parents will be here, and then I have a wedding for uh, a friend of mine, from, like high school that I've known forever, and uh, that's in January. And then after that, we uh, will do the shot. I mean, we'll do the um, dental cleaning, because with the dental cleaning, there is always a risk of that they need to pull a tooth, which is what they did last time. So if they have to, if they have to pull a tooth for, tooth for her, she might be on uh, medication. Um, she might be on uh, painkillers. So I don't want to have her be on painkillers while we have like a cat sitter while we're on a trip or something like that. So I prefer just to make sure we're going to be at home when this when it happens in case. Uh, let's go. The car 98 is the best. I'm loving this car 98 here. We uh, unlocked it when we got to character level uh, 43. And we have since prestige. Prestige means that we have hit the max and we've clocked over and around again. So 55 is the max character level and you can keep going around and around and around. I don't know if there's a max to the prestige. There might be, but um, I don't know if there is. Dental cleaning on a cat sounds fun. Oh yeah, they they uh, put um, general anesthesia. Give her general anesthesia so that she's just basically sleeping. And uh, that's how they do that. And they'll do like the teeth, teeth pulling if they need to. They don't keep her awake. They don't keep them awake when they do it. I don't know if they do that for the dogs or not. If they uh, anesthesia or not for the dogs. I'm not real sure. Ow. Oh, I just saw where that came from. I skipped the kill cam. Definitely doing a little bit better on this round, this match, this this uh, map. I mean, as I die horribly. Good puppy. Oh, they took B. We gotta save B. We just need to rush up to B, but it's getting to be kind of too late. A little late. What? Oh, I 
wasn't even on B. I guess that was a little too far. There we go. Friendly package inbound. Yeah, those hostile dogs are like legit. Oh, they're like, uh, I think who's inside the tower? Come on, Tubby. I know you want the game. It's fun. We'll play together. It'll go on sale though like if you're waiting for a sale or something i don't know if it's gonna go on sale because it just came out uh but it could it might seeing that it is the worst selling call of duty in the last 15 years 14 years it might go on sale <laughs> to kind of bump up the uh numbers a little bit maybe I was gonna try to finish them. You say this is the worst selling Call of Duty game uh, in the last 14 years. Yeah, Creepy Taco, apparently. It's got like the lowest uh, sales numbers, apparently. I don't know. So I saw somewhere. Which is still like, you know, a lot of people buying it still. I don't know what the actual numbers are. Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. They have yet to release numbers for the performance. For Vanguard's performance. But they said it was a uh, UK Call of Duty launch sales down 40% year on year. I don't know if this is a UK only sales thing that they're talking about. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just a UK thing, but that's what they're saying. What's really funny is uh, they'll say like, uh, uh, disappointed by Vanguard's initial sales figures worst uk launch in 14 years blah blah, blah down to 26 percent of physical sales sales dropped by 40 percent compared to last year's black ops cold war but it literally says here activision has yet to release numbers for vanguard's performance so i don't know where they're getting these numbers like what numbers i don't know yeah like i don't know what numbers they're talking about exactly Physical retail sales dropped 26% over last year's game, whereas digital sales for fell 44%. I think that's a trend though, like overall trend, not specific to this game, like physical sales. is always gonna go down, I think. 
in the like looking at the future. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, I guess, I don't really know what people are smoking, I guess. To say the least. I don't really see anything really particularly uh, bad about this game. You know? Securing I don't know. Charlie. Cold War is always super Defend popular. This is your time to shine. We hold Charlie. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. I feel like this map is really hard to see because it's so brown, like all the tan colors. People Thank just kind of blend in really well. Maybe. Shooting a lady in the back. Uh, that's not very proper. Well, you know how it goes. I guess my, my character... Taking Abel isn't a woman is it i don't remember which character i'm playing actually or am i securing able um am i playing russian picked it oh god isn't the Russian pigtail lady, uh, pigtail lady, um, it is, but I don't know if I'm, am I playing this character? I don't, I don't remember. I've been switching around a little bit, uh, to level up some of the characters, so I don't even know which characters I'm playing right now. But you are probably correct. I, I think I am playing as Polina, and that's the Russian lady. They're taking Charlie! See ya. I think, honestly, um, domination is really it's shitty. It's it's a great mode if you play the the objective. I think a lot of people don't play the objective on this, so it just doesn't work. However, patrol that new one, um, I think people do play that objective. I might start taking out domination from the uh, rotation and. Uh, Put um patrol in. Keep patrol in, I mean. Round's almost over. Time for a 
comeback. Capturing Baker. Taking Charlie. Losing objective Charlie. <laughs> oh, I try to jump the uh, do the uh, jump around the corner move that other people have been killing me with. Yeah, it didn't work. We're just getting wrecked. Charlie is lost. Charlie locked down. Recon a lot. We got eyes. What the hell? Star recon in the air. Spies in the sky. Capturing Abel. Throwing stun grenades. We dug in at Abel. Objective able. No, not A. Charlie is lost. Securing Baker. How did he know I was here? I mean, don't really want to call wall hack, but you can kind of guess where people are. Maybe, I mean, maybe he saw me. I mean, there's only two ways in to where, where I was from, where I was. Like, maybe he saw me, maybe he didn't. I don't know if he saw me or not, but. There are only a couple areas that I could have come, come, come uh, into that area. Why is my reaction time so slow? <laughs> Compared. I don't want to kind of like, you know, root for them or whatever, but... I see a little pea treat. Here we taco. Grab one piece street. Here she comes. Here you go, Loki.
Go for a little pee. Player of the day. Player of life. <laughs> um, I'm seeing a lot of drop shots. I still have yet to master technique. Yeah, that takes a lot of uh, practice. Because it's, and it's a little different too. In Warzone, you can, uh, you can toggle, you can set the behavior to toggle or hold for the one key for uh, going prone like that. Uh, so in Warzone, I have it so that when I tap, like just push C, it toggles crouch. But if I hold C, it'll do prone for me. But in this game, in Vanguard, which is developed by who? Sledgehammer? Is not the same developer as Warzone, so it doesn't have that toggle behavior that I saw. So a toggle slash hold behavior. So you can't, I, you can't do that in this one. Um, you can't do both, I guess. You can't set it to toggle and also to hold, I guess, I think. I don't know, I'll have to check. I'll check afterwards. Well, I don't, I don't think it works like that in this game. And yes, Tubby, nice. that is Polina. Pigtail lady, Some Russian rise, pigtail lady. Uh, also, what, what are you guys thinking for a uh, Friday night to play? Anyone around to play? And if you are, what do you Capturing think? Uh, what do you want to play? Let me know. Let's try to get on. Been rough lately. Too many activities with kids. Hey, you know, you, you, uh, if you make it, you make it, Tubby. I'm always happy to play with you, so. But yeah, if you make it, that would be great. Uh, but if not, well, there's always next Friday, I guess. Um, Minesweeper. I think I'd rather, might possibly rather play Dream Daddy than Minesweeper. Might, possibly. Not guaranteed, but maybe. Capturing Baker. Taking Baker. That's a big maybe. Friendly bombing run inbound. Friendly sending a flight bomb. Oh, we got P, baby! Get that finish, baby! Oh, damn it! Someone killed, uh, killed them before I get the finish. Uh, this map is literally insane, but it's fun though. It's a fun map. It's insane, but it's pretty fun. Got me. 
like the spot right here, actually. Got that triple kill, too. Baby. This is one of those maps where it's like, if you get B, you're like, it's really hard to, to get B from your, your enemy, your opponent. Because it's very open and there's not a whole lot of places to hide when you're trying to get, uh, trying to capture B. How did I not get her? There we go. How do you get up here? How do I get up there? I guess it's not this, it's the other side of this place. Can be able to uh, melee both of those guys. Need to figure out what's for dinner tonight. Uh, I think we're making. I think I'm making lamb chops, which I haven't had. Oh wait, you just go up here. Oh yeah, I've never been up here before. Uh, I think I'm making lamb chops for tonight. I haven't done lamb chops in like forever. Like years, probably. It's just not a meat I uh, usually eat very often. Uh, probably do some kind of vegetable to go with it. Um... Not sure what else. Probably, probably keep it light. Great if cooked correctly. Awful when cooked wrong. I actually pretty, I'm pretty, pretty decent at cooking. I've never really had to throw something out because I messed up cooking it or whatever. So pretty decent at cooking, I think. But you're absolutely right. It's like can't overcook it, can't undercook it either. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, Tubby, for the first time in like forever, I did uh, I did uh, deadlifts today at home. So we have a squat rack, a power rack, actually. And uh, I finally did some, cleared off some space and uh, did some deadlifts. Nothing uh, super heavy or anything like that. Oh, that was all right. I only did three sets. What did you get up to? Um, I did, 
I started light because I wanted to make sure my form was okay and you know that kind of thing. Um, my first set was the bar. The bar is 45 plus 10 and 10. That is 65 pounds. So I started off with 65 pounds. And then I added 10 more on each side. Uh, 85? 85 pounds. And then my third set was... 25, 25. 50 plus 45 is 95 pounds. So I did three sets. Uh, 65, 85, 95. Not bad, I think. Uh, I haven't done, haven't done them in a long time. So just trying to get back into correct form, that kind of thing. But I was happy with it, though. I was happy with it. It's only trying to work back up. Yeah. Yep. Pretty happy with uh, with that. I did, I did a couple sets of squats with the barbell too, but um, I don't know. My elbows weren't too happy with it it used to be where if i got really heavy with the squat bar the bar my wrist would uh get really tight because it's not really flexible uh but then this time my my wrist didn't get there yet it doesn't get there until i get really heavy but my elbows were starting to get like a little tight like clicky probably from uh sitting in front of the computer i'm sure so uh back squats regular squats It's like, uh, it's this right here. Just like being able to bring my, uh, how wide are your feet and hands? Uh, my feet are about shoulder width, probably a little more than shoulder width. And my toes are kind of pointed a little bit out. And my hands are probably like this, I guess. Not, not like this or anything, just regular shoulder width ish. I think it's just my elbows being really tight. Like, literally just here. Just being here. Uh, odd your elbows and wrists feel it? Well, my wrists feel it because I'll go like this. Because my wrists, I can't like have it rotate like this. I know you're supposed to keep it straight like this, basically. But, uh, uh, like this. But then eventually my, my wrist will go like this. And it gets like a lot of weight on it. But my elbows are just literally right now, I could feel it right now, just from me bending my elbow like this. I assume you stretched out and warmed up before jumping into it. Uh, a little bit. Now, I don't, I'm not going to say that wouldn't help, but that's probably not my problem. That's probably not the problem. My problem is I just need to work on something that will stretch out my elbows, kind of flex everything a bit. Such as that thing I just used, my little yellow thingy. Kind of like the, uh, the wrist uh, towel ringing thing. That whatever, whatever it's called, the yellow bar that I have. Oh good, this map again. Uh, <laughs> back mobility is always an issue for me. A little bit just looking, uh, just just thinking about stretching is enough. <laughs> like I said, I want to keep it light, uh, just to kind of make sure my form's good and stuff like that. So I don't want to go too heavy. I used to tried to go really heavy like PRs and stuff like that but not right now not right now so I weigh I weigh like uh I don't know 110 pounds let's say or so and I deadlifted about 95 today so that's not bad I think and like I said I haven't done it in a while 
And I don't remember what I deadlifted before, like my PR, but it was like 180, 185, 190. It was decently significant for relatively speaking. Yeah, definitely gonna take it slow. Weights are weights are no joke. Losing objective Charlie. Charlie is overrun. Well if Charlie is overrun, we should be able to take A then, right? finish baby let's go <laughs> so there's like these challenges that you need to do for finishing moves uh to get extra xp or to unlock uh, characters and skins and stuff like that so and the plus they're kind of fun to do right see a person all i saw was the fire coming out well that's a really good hole right there i wonder why i didn't see anything jesus The dog killed me. The goddamn dog killed me. The dogs are pretty OP. Like, they're pretty cool to have and use, but... Nice. I took B.
Detective Baker. Hopefully we can hold them off, but... Damn streams. Yeah, it's when people are on fire with the incendiary rounds. We have total domination. Hold the line. Come on, we gotta catch up. It's a close game. Throwing What's going on, Seaside? How you doing, man? What are you up to today, Seaside? Get to here, get to here. Not much, ate some chicken alfredo and now I'm full. Sounds pretty good. I made a sandwich today for lunch. I had a, I had a uh, medium boiled egg and a banana. Other than the bread on the sandwich, I thought it was pretty healthy. Quite proud of myself uh, for that lunch. I need something with a lot of protein because I did uh, weights today, so. Oh my God, I can't believe we're gonna win. GG's. I gamble we came back in that game. Wow, we really held that B. Well, now that my STG44 is maxed out level, I think we're going to try a different, uh, maybe we'll try a different, uh, gun. Either AR or SMG. Maybe we'll do the MP40. Because we're already halfway with the MP40. 
may as well uh, sort of level it up all the way. So let's back out. Check out all the route real quick. Try to get gold. Camel skin, of course. And we are like halfway there. We're gonna unlock all this stuff. So actually, hold on. Uh, 20 millimeter, 220 millimeter rapid barrel, 7.62, uh, rapid barrel. 762 so that particular uh skin set you have to attach uh certain attachments for it to get like this one 220 millimeter rapid barrel 762 uh 30 round mags and precision stock so let me make sure i have that one on and then we can start racking up stuff for that one precision stock okay i already got that one okay uh, and change this uh, mp40 brother Xiao, what's going on man how you doing today what's going on Yes, yes it is. Seaside. So I basically, for sort of my AR SMG, that's whatever gun that's not the sniper, basically, I don't really want to uh, decrease hip fire damage or the damage range. I definitely want it to be higher, so but the hip fire accuracy I would like too. So aim down the sights, damage range. So I'll probably do this one for accuracy. Hip for pl hip fire plus uh plus one hip fire accuracy. I might take that. Sprint to fire. Might take this. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with some of these to see which one I actually like better. 70 always FMGA. Sprint speed melee range. And uh we'll do Maybe just a little too, uh, this one. No, wait. Magazine. Reload quickness. I think that will be good there. And I'm going to grab Little Peace Street. Actually, we'll do that one. Looks like a watermelon scheme theme. Same thing with the sniper. I don't really want to do anything that compromises my uh, bullet velocity or damage range. And I, for my sniper, I never pick uh, like another scope because if I pick a different scope, it'll reduce uh, aim down the sight speed. I want to be able to acquire sights quick. So I usually leave that as the default uh, scope. All right, queue up and yellow P. I'm gonna remove domination, keep patrol. Let's go.
They're coming. Here you go, Loki. Come on. Kill confirmed. Subdue all threats. Time to get lean and me. Thank you, Brother Xiao, and I will do your hydrate in a second. There's a pistol that I know shoots a 762-25 round a very high velocity, like a AR pistol or a regular pistol. I had an old gaming moment today. Hmm. Was in MMO earlier and talked about how uh, what somebody said reminded me of a pop song from 2008. And somebody else was like, oh my god, how old are you? <laughs> the answer is old as dirt. <laughs> oh man, 2008 is old now. Jesus. Rip. TZ52. Oh. Sounds like it'd be hard to shoot. TZ52. I don't feel that 13 year old pop song makes me old. TikTok uh, from Kesha, I think it's from 2008. Mm. 2008? That's uh, what, 13 years? Let's see, in 2008, I graduated college. Straight out of college in 2008. Kesha is probably old now, actually. shooting me what was that well it's a death machine thingy oh enemy death machine inside okay i have no idea what's big in pop music anymore i lost track around lady gaga i lost track too I, uh, I've been listening to the same music I listen to for like years now. I just, I just don't even know. I do however know all about T-Swizzle. What the hell is a T-Swizzle? <laughs> what does that even mean? Is that the 
death machine still? No, it's nobody else. Alright, I'm not going that way. I'm just kidding, it's the hip-hop name for Taylor Swift. Tay-Tay? Get up there. Oh, that must be the back. I'm not disappointed. You'll do better next time. TikTok stylized as TikTok and pronounced. TikTok is the debut solo single by American singer Kesha. She co-wrote the song with its producers Dr. Luke and Benny Blanco. Released in 2009 as a lead single from Kesha's debut studio album Animal. I didn't even hear about the song. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I stopped uh, listening to like new music since high school. Like I just listened to the same stuff I've been listening to since like high school pretty much. I might uh, throw in uh, a new song here and there, but that's pretty much it. So my uh, Spotify playlist is pretty much uh, stuff from the 90s and 2000s, early 2000s. And that's all. That's really it. <laughs> I don't even know who Kesha is. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to Euro Trash Disco that makes me feel like a 50 year old female Zumba instructor who's pretending to be in her early 20s. That's oddly specific, Tubby. It's oddly specific. I liked Katy Perry, actually. I thought they were catchy songs. Fat Rat? Team Deathmatch. Eliminate all hostiles. This In all honesty, intense. I used to I used to and still do listen to a lot of like boy band stuff. As a person who grew up in sort of like the 90s, I was super into pop bands, boy bands. But I also listened to a lot of other stuff. Uh, rock, obviously. Rap, hip hop, all kinds of shit. They have the advantage. Oh my god, keep up and kill him. You still listen? I, I corrected myself, Tubby. I corrected myself. Not used to. I still do. Like, you know, like, do you guys have Spotify? If you guys have Spotify, I'm sure other stuff do it too, like uh, Apple Music or something. But basically every end of the year, at the end of the year, they'll tell you what you've listened to the most and uh, how many minutes you've listened to of uh, whatever, what was your favorite song, what was your the band of your year or whatever. Literally, mine is not even joking. It's like Backstreet Boys. And probably my song of the year has got to be Eye of the Tiger because I listen to Eye of the Tiger when I go running. Whenever I do like workouts, basically, I'm listening to Eye of the Tiger on my one playlist with one song in it with Eye of the Tiger is the only song on repeat. So that's got to be my song of the year <laughs> every year. And I don't change. I've been listening to 90s R&B lately. I don't know, I've never been a fan of R&B. Just not a big fan of that, I guess. Mm. 
Me and you is 69. That's what that guy's name was, the one I just killed. <laughs> uh, listen to it like, oh, absolutely, Tubby. Yeah, I never felt bad about what I listened to. It was just telling people what I listened to. I kind of felt, felt a little like weird, but uh, I don't work there anymore. I'm, uh, as you, you probably know, just too old for that shit. I do what I want. Bobby Brown. I never listened to that stuff. 70s funk. Is this team deathmatch? It is. Can't believe I missed that. That's it. What are you the euro trash disco stuff but it gets me amped to run or work out dude eye of the tiger it's the eye of the tiger i got a bombing run does anyone here like aerosmith anyone ever heard of aerosmith double q a little band called aerosmith Uh, what's funny is she was coaching the 5.30 a.m. class yesterday. The playlist she chose had a lot of it in there. Nice. So just staring at her with eyebrows raised when she missed my cell phone. <laughs> nice. Did you tell her afterwards though, Tommy? So a, a friend of mine um, that I know, he is the drum tech for the drummer. Uh, Kramer. John Kramer in uh, Aerosmith. And I think like, I think in 2019, he, uh, he got me, uh, tickets to go see Aerosmith. And, uh, when they came to sort of my area, I guess. And, uh, it was really cool. It was like a really small kind of venue. And I was no more than 25 feet from the band, probably. But I had seats. I didn't have to stand in the pits, nothing like that. There were no pits, but th they did have a standing area that people stood at. But it was uh, it was really neat. I had a I had a good time. And when I went to go pick up my tickets, they're like, I, I was like, uh, you know, I'm here to pick up tickets. And they're like, oh, did you win the tickets from the casino? And I was like, oh no, it's from the band. I felt super cool saying that. I just wanted to let you guys know that. I thought it was really cool. It was really cool. <laughs> uh. About stupid, nice. Uh, that's awesome. You, you you stood on your chair so you could see them. No, I didn't have to. Luckily, there was no one sitting in front of me, so no one was blocking. Uh, oh, no one was blocking me. Oh. Yeah, I'm on the guest list. Exactly. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was like the tickets and the price on it was zero. It was it was uh, really cool. I had a good time. Uh, and honestly, I didn't even care about aerosmith before my friend told me i always knew that he worked for aerosmith it was just kind of like oh whatever like he got me a steven tyler signed autograph thing that said mini ninja on it whatever i mean honestly don't tell my friend not that you guys would but i don't even know where that picture is anymore like They're it was probably 10 years ago i don't know where that photo is that he signed for me and it's kind of too bad uh but i just it was after it was before i moved uh where i live now so I just, it's probably somewhere. I don't think I threw it away or anything. It's just somewhere, somewhere. But uh, I had to like prepare for the concert, like listen to a bunch of Aerosmith songs to kind of know some of their stuff before going to the concert. But uh, I actually ended up having fun, a lot of fun at it. And uh, there were a lot of uh, old people there, like people older than I, I am by like, 15 20 years at least uh, i was easily one of the youngest people there and uh you know it was just uh it was a fun experience 
forgot to tell you, I had a dream. You and your husband came through Utah and stopped at our house for dinner. Your husband in my dream was six and a half and was a fireman. You got sick before dinner and you guys had to leave. <laughs> Dude, Tubby. That's funny. That's pretty hilarious, actually. I'm laughing very hard inside right now. <laughs> um, you know, funny that you mentioned that because uh, he he was like, oh, where does Tubby live or whatever? I was like, oh, uh, Utah. But I think I told him, I think you live near kind of the Nevada side, not uh, not towards down towards Moab, which is too bad because we love going to Moab. Uh, but uh, yeah, funny you mentioned that. That we were in your dreams, Tubby. <laughs> uh, I feel like Aerosmith is a poor American knockoff of the Rolling Stones. I mean, maybe. I didn't really know, know, know the Rolling Stones either. A um, little too before my time, I think, probably. Aerosmith blazed some rock trails back in the 70s. You know, when I did my, uh, when I was doing my research uh, on like the Aerosmith songs, like trying to get used to them, like learn them, they, um, there was, I forget which song it was, uh, but one of them, he sounded so different than the other ones. Um, he basically said, uh, I looked it up, I forget which song it was, Dream On, yeah, Dream On, yes, Dream On, exactly. That one he sounded so different on, and basically they said, uh, I think it was, he sounded like that. That was like his normal voice, I think, normal singing voice. But then other people actually liked the the other voice. So he just kept singing with the other kind of voice instead, which is definitely not the same one as the Dream On one. But it's pretty interesting that they uh, he kind of trained himself to, to sing one way. It's, uh, I don't know, it's interesting. Hope you're ready for a real fight. Uh, we are south of Salt Lake. That doesn't help. I don't really know where Salt Lake is. <laughs> Sorry to admit. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really familiar with, uh, Utah other than Moab. Uh, my folks live down near Nevada in St. George. I have heard of St. George. I think I knew someone that lived, uh, lived over there. Moab is definitely south. I know that for sure. I just don't know uh, where anything else is that's not south. Uh, SLC is north central. Gotcha. Like, how, how far is that? Like, let's pretend you're going to drive. Four hours? Five? Two? Four hours. Gotcha. Pretty far. We would fly into... Uh, Grand Junction. If we were going to Moab and drive, go to Grand Junction, fly over. I mean, uh, drive over to Moab. Okay, dokie, that will be here, my friend. All the cool ski resorts in Park City. I've watched that um, movie SLC Punks. Anybody watch that too? Super old, kind of old. Colorado, yeah, Grand Junction, Colorado. Basically fly into Denver, I think maybe, and then transfer over to fly over a little bit to Grand Junction. Finish him, baby. Let's go. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, drive over from Grand Junction. Heard of it, never watched it. SLC Punk, that's from like the late 90s, 96. Yeah, it's pretty old. Pretty old, <laughs> quote unquote. <laughs> That's the only thing I know about Salt Lake City, is that movie. Not sure if it's an insult or not. <laughs> Hello, <Lopo. laughs> 96, I was... 11. Shit. I was, a uh, 6th grade. 5th, 6th grade, 6th grade. No. 
confirmed. Nice job. <laughs> See, I'm fine with 96 being old. 2009, nope. Yeah, I think the 90s is probably kind of old. I mean, it's what, 30 years ago almost? Almost 30, 25 years ago. So that's probably kind of old, yes. <laughs> but the, anything that's like 2000s, it shouldn't really be that old yet. Although, I don't know. I feel like uh, like a tw like 20 years is a, an, a good indicator for being old or not. Like, at least 20 years. So that just kind of marks it at right at 2001. So, but 2000, 2008, 2009, definitely not old. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, that's a good spot. It's super hard to see that guy. I'm gonna have to tell DT, Tubby, that you, you guys had a, you had a dream about us. <laughs> He's gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Stun grenade! Oh. <laughs> so out of left field. <laughs> but I was bummed because you guys missed the cats and dinner. Oh. There's more. The well, not not to make you to not make you feel left out, Tubby. Pickle Dicks told me this morning that she also had a dream about me. <laughs> um actually something about dinner too, not even joking. She she said she had a dream where I was that I had a dinner party at my house but it wasn't like my actual house because you know she's been here so she know what knows what it looks like and stuff but not my actual house and uh we were having dinner but then like we had other friends over and they were like hiding from us and i don't even know like i don't even know but apparently you're not the only one <laughs> That's your channel in a nutshell, food and cats. Perfect. Perfect. Kill Good work, Thank you, Abby, for the little pea treat, baby. I will do it soon. This game is pretty close. the castle get last night oh my god dude <laughs> okay, he's just so mad about the game he's just so mad he's just so mad he complains about all like the dlc stuff and uh 
still complain about the kill streaks. Um, just everything. I would say I don't know why he still gets the game to play, but I know why. It's because he wants to play with me, and he knows this is the games I play. I play this, so he gets to play with me. Oh man, super close, 83 to 85. I don't get to watch much at night, typically dealing with kids. Yeah, no, I got you, I got you. Yeah, it's usually when we're, we're playing. Uh, I will get a little piece and we treat. If you want treats, you gotta you gotta work for it, little P. Just like the rest of us. Yeah, usually we play uh, after dinner. We'll start playing at nine, nine or ten my time, and then we'll play for at least an hour or two till basically my bedtime, which is twelve a.m. More or less. We don't play every night though, but we try to play. Try to play a lot just to level up. <sighs> yeah, I mean, just because for me, like after stream, for example, is about six or 6.30. Depends on when I stop streaming. And that cooks dinner, you know, so we don't eat dinner until Defending 7, 7.30. Shine. 8 if I stay super late and then uh, by the time we're done with dinner 8 30 9 o'clock and then uh, we might watch a tv show or two you know like arcane for example we've been watching that lately and then it's you know 9 30 or 10 by the time we get on to play games oh man So I subscribed to Xbox Game Pass yesterday. Ooh. <laughs> uh, uh, just to play Forza Horizon and then found out that it's 110 gigs and I don't have the disc base. Uh, well, what are you playing other than your MMO Brothers show? Like, what other games are you playing on your computer? Control zone secured. <laughs> they have the patrol zone. Yeah, I should try to get dinner by five to six. So make sure the kids get to bed by nine thirty. Rise early here. Yeah, I used to rise early. I used to, and I used to go on sunrise runs and stuff. But it was perfect. I would wake up at like four or five a.m., go out running, that kind of thing. But not anymore. I would like to be, but it's hard though with streaming now. You know. We got an empty patrol zone. It's one big game, not Call of Duty big, but big. Uh, it's 110 gigs, not bad. It's all right. Why is no one playing patrol? I'm so confused. No one's playing the control point. Oh, it's only three versus four. No wonder why no one's playing. There's no one to play it. I wonder why no one's playing this.
I prefer sleeping in uh, until later, but I gotta get stuff done early. Now I got gotcha. you. I prefer to do both, but I can't. So I end up uh, staying up later than I really want to, and then getting up later than I want to, or getting up early, but then get like feel really tired during the day. But uh, been trying to work on my schedule a little bit. Um, to try to get up earlier. Like going to the gym earlier in the mornings and stuff like that. Or running earlier in the morning. Because I prefer to do that because then it feels like um, my day is a little bit longer and I have more things to do stuff. I don't like just run out of time. Uh, but with streaming, it's like really hard to play like sort of my own games after dinner because then i don't know sometimes i feel like too tired to play games too like i just don't want to play games because i've been streaming all day or whatever i don't know it's weird the patrol zone is ours Bear. Take the zone. We're losing. Contact to the patrol zone. Skill always revitalizes me. Hostiles took the patrol zone. All right, this is stupid. I'm leaving the game. <laughs> There's like no one here to play with me. It sucks. All right, next game. Let's see. So I think each character <clears throat> operator, uh, they go up to level twenty. All bots? Nah, 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 nah. They're not bots. So you can unlock uh, some of these skins by doing stuff reach max level with all operators in like sort of this shadow section down here the three characters um this really cool looking sort of one is one that you can get if you unlock uh, all operators in uh, four units for example uh i don't have everyone unlocked yet but to unlock them you can do like uh, this guy is get 200 marksman rifle kills this lady is 50 prone kills this guy is do 25 finishing moves which is why i've been trying to do finishing moves and they're kind of cool to begin with but i have 15 out of 25 could do 10 more she is lmgs i don't use lmgs and shotguns gonna have to work on those it's gonna be really hard Uh, Brother Shadow, do you have like a, um, some kind of like, uh, not Dropbox, but some kind of cloud thing that you have so you can save stuff to you, like files, photos, videos, that kind of stuff, maybe? I used to run out of room on my C drive. Maybe it's just time to upgrade, Brother Shadow. Um, maybe it's just time to upgrade. So my C drive here has two terabytes. My C drive is two terabytes. I also have an SSD, which is five terabytes, maybe. And then I have a regular sort of hard drive on here, which is also like four terabytes. I don't even know how many terabytes that is total, but I got a lot of terabytes on this computer. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm getting more more drive space. There's Black Friday sales being listed right now. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you could uh, definitely get something there for that.
That's true. Yeah. What do you guys? Uh, you guys looking forward to getting anything for Black Friday? What a portable hard drive, he said. The SSD? No, it's just uh, it's just in my computer. It's not portable. Instead of like a hard drive with like spins, this is not a hard drive that spins. It's sort of like your like sort of the thumb drives. It's uh, mechanically, it's like similar to that. But it's basically just pretend it's a hard drive for your computer. Uh, but different. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I didn't get that person. SSDs um, are faster, the solid state drive. They are, they boot a lot faster as well. And uh, they're smaller too, in terms of size, like physical size. Uh, they were really expensive. They're getting cheaper and cheaper now, like more comparable. They are they're most like similar to like a flash drive which is sort of your like usb thumb drives they're basically kind of like that but instead of it being portable it's it goes into your computer uh, my brother-in-law put my computer together and does all upgrades when i buy new stuff for my computer gotcha gotcha no problem mm -hmm. Yeah, we usually have to do, um, sort of troubleshooting for, like, our parents and stuff like that. I was so happy to finally get my parents away from a computer because all they used the computer for was like um like facebook and my dad would check like stocks on like fidelity but they didn't use anything like any other functions on the computer so i'm like you know what you need you just need an ipad that's really all you need it's just like an ipad and of course i didn't want to get them something like they don't like even the ipad is too overpowered for them really but uh, I didn't want to get them something that I wasn't familiar with because uh, I'm in the, the Apple family, Apple uh, ecosystem. Uh, so I wanted to get them something that I was, that I knew how to use, uh, know how to use. So we got them that and uh, they've been pretty, pretty happy with it. I still have their computer actually, their old computer downstairs here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I want to have to like delete everything off of it. And I don't know. T 
Team Deathmatch. Eradicate all threats. Training's over. This shit is for real. The lead's ours. Hold on to it. I can't see a single goddamn thing. Finally, Jesus. I kind of like this map. It's like super chaotic. It's kind of crazy. This map is uh, really Rex with the shotgun. I've never seen this uh, skin before. That's a really cool looking skin. So what do you guys think we should play on uh, Friday? Should we keep uh, running the division stuff for the manhunt stuff or what do you guys think? There's that uh, Tiny Tina's, uh, not the new one that you have to pay for, but there was that free Tiny Tina's something that was free on Epic. Tiny Tina's Assault something or other.
Let me see. Let me try to find it. I don't know if it's free still. Tiny Tina's uh, Assault on Dragon Keep. Is it still free? Looks like it is no longer free, so I don't know if anyone picked that up. If people did and they want to come play on Friday with us, with that game, we could definitely do that. Or maybe we'll just stick with uh, Vision again. Kind of enjoyed it last time. Oh, no. He ran off of it. Interesting. Double Q, baby. I think this mode is great for um, having to keep moving. Like, you can't camp at all. So as a person who doesn't really camp much, uh, I think it's great, but for people that like to camp, uh, it's just not for them. But I think it all depends on what kind of player you are. about Tiny Tina. Oh, you didn't grab it? That's too bad. 
Yeah, I haven't tried it yet. I did grab it when it uh, came out, though. I wonder if it's any good. It'll come back they always do that's true yeah at some point it'll come back around it's a it's a ten dollar ten dollars for it so not terribly expensive if you actually want to pick it up i don't know how long the game is though i says it's like this weird like one shot adventure so i don't know like what that means I caught up in fail out manhunt Monday and Tuesday. Gotcha. Yeah, I think we're we're nowhere near uh, finishing the manhunt, which is great. That gives us content to do. So happy with that. Dogs. Once you beat the last rogue agent, you can straight up uh, go straight to fail out at Camp White Oak. Gotcha. Hey, that's me. Play the game, baby. Double kill right here, I think. <laughs> nice. That's me. Most captures. Let's go. I'm gonna look for myself. GG. I like how like I have the most captures, which is the objective of the game is to capture the the moving zone. No one votes. The person that got the most objectives stuff. <laughs> Thanks for that. Another dab. So you said, let's go. <clears throat> All right. How are we doing on our battle pass? Battle pass maxes out at, at 100. Do, do, do. Sometimes I get these battle pass tokens to claim. I 
don't know why we get these sometimes. Do we get them like in the battle pass? I'm not real sure like how we get these sometimes, but they show up. And it's like usually like one one free level or whatever, but if we can get to 100, that would be lovely because this uh, skin is really cool. It's like the Aurora Borealis one and it kind of changes colors. Kind of crazy, but also really, really cool looking. High five, MJ. Uh, so MJ, so, uh, start, uh, you start next week, right? Does that mean we're going to see you less around here? Or are we going to still see you? What's the, what's the schedule looking like, you know? Team Deathmatch. Eliminate all hostiles. Shit's going to get ugly. There's no turning back now. What's up, Creek? Thanks for a little Where's Petri Seaside. I'll grab that after this round, probably. To start next week, uh, I'll sometimes have weekdays off. Cool. Well, hopefully we'll still see you around here, man. And if not, uh, you know, we'll catch you in the, the Discord, hopefully, too. How are you doing today, Creek? You're early. Pretty early there. We usually don't see you for another hour, I think. I'm a little late. Usually lurk while I'm making coffee. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I guess I don't know you're here until you actually type something in chat. So maybe you, you are here early, usually. But uh, how was your sleep? Did you have good sleep? How's the coffee this morning? Good. Oh, I can't believe I missed that guy. Friendly, sending a glide bomb. Get finished, baby.
package inbound. Oh no, they got me. I'm glad I got the bomber on though before that. <laughs> yeah, we had a really good run just now. Triple kill, baby. I think we're gonna flip spawns. Yep, we flipped. Oh, I didn't see that person in time. Uh, where is that? Ouch. Ow, no. Okay. Oh, it's up three hours. Temperature was down 73 overnight. Hey, that's pretty good. 73 Fahrenheit. That's uh, not bad. A little warm for me, but not bad. Was that was that that was too cold for you, right, Craig? Are you freezing? <laughs> Only three hours, dude. That's like nothing. How come? You sleep more than three hours normally, right? Pretty sure. Petri, be right back, seaside. See if we can get her up. She's so tired, guys. She's so tired. Oh, poor little P. Come on. Thank you, Seaside, for a little peach treat. And from waking her ass up from her nap. <laughs> um, how's DT? DT is doing well. I'm working a lot, you know? I get a lot of humidity here in the summer and it feels like you're in a pot of boiling water. I feel that. I feel that, Seaside. But I know you're in, uh, you're in Georgia, so you get a lot more humidity than I do. But, uh, 
I'm a northern, northern, born and raised northerner. So uh, being here, it's just uh, being where I am. It's a little much for me. Tiny Tina is one per first person, like a uh, first person shooter. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yes. Yeah, it's like Borderlands. Have you have you played Borderlands before? It's probably very similar to Borderlands. I've seen a video of gameplay for it. And I think it looks just like Borderlands. Yeah, shooter looter, yep. It probably, I believe it looked basically the exact same as Borderlands. First person equals motion sickness for me. Oh no. That's true, we did talk about that before. Excuse me. Have you tried, um changing the FOB and stuff on it, on it though. Motion blur settings and stuff like that. Cause that does help. Like, like I said, I, I get motion sick from first person and third person games. But once I change the settings, some of these settings, it gets a lot better for me. And sometimes it makes, I have to get used to it too. Uh, I'm kind of surprised, like, for Vanguard, uh, I didn't get sick at all. It might be because I've been playing a lot of uh, Warzone, and it's uh, sort of a similar look. Not that it's the same, but similar. Enemy's got a time bomb incoming. Uh, it has Zed in the big last. That's the mechanic in it. Um... Not familiar. That brings me back to life. Not familiar, Creek. Head bob is what usually sets it off for my wife or friends. Yeah, sometimes you can turn head bob off in the game. Like I said, it's like sometimes the sort of the motion blur helps too. This is a small, small game. I mean, uh, no, not a lot of people. Dude's name is Coked Out. Ready supply. Friendly bombing gun inbound. Friendly sending a bomb. Shit, I tossed a stun at myself. Oh, tossed the grenade at myself. It hit the door frame. <laughs> I don't have any first person games unless I redownload Apex and change the settings. All right, gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha, gotcha Seaside. So I guess your vote may be, um, Holy crap, triple kill, baby. I guess your boat is uh, probably for division then, since that's third person.
play Tiny Tina's cool with me? Yeah, I don't know if I'll play it. I was just mentioning it as an option in case people want to play it and it was kind of, it was free. So I didn't know if anyone else picked it up. We, we were playing Borderlands 3 for some Fridays. Um, then when we kind of switched off to something else, I forget what, what we switched to, but. Hydra and the posture check, Creed. Okay, do that in a sec. Wow. Oh, this is a close game. One by three points. Hey, that's me. Oh, it was my triple kill. Guaranteed. Yep. <laughs> uh, posted a picture of the armory that Tom released uh, for Scum Creek. I'll check that out. I'll check that out later. Thanks. Uh, one game that I saw where you can choose between first and third person is Chivalry 2, and it is cross-platform. I think you've talked about that game before. You know what else is uh, first and third person? PUBG. <laughs> uh, I have a question. Anybody play uh, like League of Legends? Or any MOBAs like Dota Hello. 2? Hi. Hello? 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 What's up, uh, Jeff and A? Hello? Hello? What's going on, Jeff? Play any more Forza, Jeff? But yeah, anyone playing uh, League of Legends or like uh, any MOBAs? I'm asking uh, because I don't I've like literally never played until we started watching Arcane on Netflix and you don't need to know anything about uh, League of Legends to watch Arcane because I certainly didn't and I like love the show it's so good and uh, because of the show I found out that there's a League of Legends Wild Rift for mobile and I downloaded it on my, on my phone to try out and it's uh interesting very interesting it's actually kind of like that pokemon unite which is also a moba for the moba for mobile and uh, i i did try that too a couple times and it was pretty cool um i don't think it's anything that you know i'm gonna like play hardcore or anything uh but just kind of like switching like just kind of casual sw switch games type of thing i might play it here and there a uh, nice change of pace type of game but uh it's fairly interesting like i i, I played heroes of the storm before too which is a, a blizzard game i don't know if anyone else has tried that too also like a moba i guess which i guess i lied earlier and i have played a moba before we took the um leland looks tiny yeah it's like a top down type of view uh seaside On the mobile though, you just kind of, you can do auto lock-ons, so you don't need to keep clicking a billion times. I haven't played it on the computer, and apparently League of Legends is free. And I had no idea it was free. I thought it was a paid game. 
playing some Far Cry 6 right now. Ooh. Probably gonna stream Forza tomorrow. Yeah. FYI. For anyone that wanted to know what we're doing tomorrow. Probably gonna do Forza. Play it without steering wheel? Oh, absolutely. I play with the controller seaside. The the Why steering wheel is actually pretty it. difficult. Um, uh, you have to get a steering wheel that sort of works with the game, and then you have to mess around with the settings, the sensitivities, and stuff. Um, we have a steering wheel set up, and we have like a chair. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but I'm not particularly interested in it, to be honest. I think it would be cool to try. Um, m not for Forza though. Maybe something that is a little more... Uh, more like a simulator I would do it with. But something with Forza, that's just more arcade fun type of controller type of situation, I think. So I'll probably just play with the controller again. It is a really fun game. It's really pretty. And I like it a lot. I have it on Xbox Game Pass. And Brother Shadow was talking about it, how uh, it's at like 110 gigs. And he got signed up Game Pass specifically for it. But he didn't have any hard drive space for it. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Where are all these people? Oh man, no. Yeah, that's why we were talking about like the SSD and hard drive and stuff like that seaside earlier. Whoa, my sight is messed up. Uh, so definitely nothing uh, for hunting uh, the other day, huh? Nothing at all, huh? Didn't even see anything? Gotta check with my friend. He went hunting uh, yesterday, I think. And I haven't heard from him yet. I don't know if he got anything yet. It's 3v3? What the hell is this? cold and boring what you didn't uh, enjoy nature do you use like heat packs by any chance like for your hands hand warmers or whatever in this map 
3v2. Shit. Dude left. Yeah. Poor dude, the one dude that's left in the game. He just quit. Then we just get the automatic win. I uh, just wear lots of clothes, you the coat. Maybe we should use some uh, hand warmers. <laughs> hand warmers uh, work pretty good. I've actually never used hand warmers before, but uh, I'm considering it soon for uh, a trip that I want to do. Um, so in the winter months, uh, these bald eagles by the Susquehanna River they kind of gather by this one place and they only come like when it's really cold out like you know 30 degrees with like a 30 miles per hour uh wind basically that kind of thing i've been to it before and uh, i'm considering hand warmers for the next time i go and we probably won't go till uh december or january but there's supposed to be like hundreds of bald eagles here when uh, it's peak. But if you go too early, there aren't uh, there aren't a lot of them. So we were thinking of going this weekend, but I think it's too early. It's not cold enough for them to kind of gather there. Cause I guess uh, I guess I guess um, when it gets cold enough the water in sort of different areas will freeze up and they're kind of forced to go to where this dam is and uh and they usually gather that literally like hundreds of them not even exaggerating like literally just hundreds of bald eagles there i i've seen it in the past where i don't know it wasn't hundreds but there were substantial amount the most i've ever seen in my life and you know i'm a i'm a bird watcher proud bird watcher like i go look for birds and uh, i've never seen so many bald eagles in my life and it was a, it was a happy sight to see it was a happy sight to see for me so i'll probably go there again uh please take pictures uh, if you go oh absolutely but uh seaside i don't really have anything that can reach very well uh all i have is like a the longest uh, lens i have is a 300 millimeter and the guys that go there they're like they do like two to six hundred millimeters so i don't know if i can get like really good photos but i'll bring my camera um yeah i don't i don't have anything that will really really reach but there'll be like absolutely nothing compared to other people's photos but let's do what i can See if I can find the photo I'm talking about, uh, that I will be talking about in a second here, where, um... Let me see... There's a photo that someone took... of all the photographers lined up along the, the river, the water bank, or whatever. Waiting for the eagles to come out. Or show themselves. Like, these are the kind of shots that people get here. And like I said, they have really long lenses. So like, there's there's no way I can get shots like that. Like I said, I just can't reach with the lens I have. But it's, like I said, pretty incredible. And you got something like this.
and they, they are catching fish in their talons, by the way. Um, this is a really cool shot. Can't seem to find the one I'm talking about, but basically there's a line of photographers with all their huge lenses, just all in one line. It's pretty funny. Thanks, Krieg, for the little pea treat. I'll have to wait for the next round. They will actually steal each other's kill and mini- Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. I've seen the pictures uh, that these guys post in this group that I'm in. They talk about how uh, be prepared to uh, watch the the bird that you're taking a photo of if it if it's got a catch in its talons, because another bird's gonna go fight it. Another eagle's gonna fight it. I'm sure if you wait a little bit, it'll probably come back up, Creek. It's just on cooldown. Maybe. Oh, I ran out of bullets. That was dumb. All right. Certain eagles that hunt wolves, they will actually take down a wolf. I saw the video. Oh man, nature is wild, it's insane. We're in the lead. A lot of recoil in this uh, setup I got here. I got a setup on purpose though, because I'm trying to unlock some skins and they require certain attachments. So here I am. It finished, baby. Kill confirmed. Nice job. Hostile recon in the air. Spies in the sky. Mongolian eagle hunting. Pretty cool. Ah. That's 
pretty cool. Sometimes I would like, uh, I used to take out my kayak and go out on the river with it and uh, I would see some bald eagles there sometimes. Not a whole lot often, but it happens. Pretty cool. I've seen one uh, dive down to catch a fish before while I was in my kayak. It wasn't like super, super close, but it was close enough where it was a little scary, you know? Nico can crush my collarbone with his talons. Oh, I'm sure they're super strong, dude. Whoa, the game glitched. per square inch. Wow. So legit. Hostile recon in the air. Spies in the sky. We're down, but not out. Close game. Jesus. Oh, it's got a death machine. Close game. Can't grab any of my tags, though. GG's. Very close game. Last, last few were actually really close. Uh, little Petri. I don't know if she's gonna be awake for a creek. I might have to just give it to her over there if that's right. Got most edge shots, baby. Oh, she was uh, so we got this uh, tent for her recently from like REI, and she was hanging out in it apparently like a little tiny tent for like I don't know, cats, I guess. Definitely not for kids and not for humans, humans, adult humans to use. Hey, baby, that's a good girl. Thanks, Greek. Oh, 
All right, I want to run to the bathroom while this queues up. So I'll be back in a minute and I'm going to hit this ad while we're gone. Just BRB in one minute, guys. Alright, we're back, guys. The lobbies aren't, uh, aren't getting filled. I wonder why not. It's mid afternoon. Mid afternoon for Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, sure. Not for everyone in the world, Castle. This is the first time I've seen it not be filled. Maybe people are playing Halo. I wonder. Battlefield 2042? I don't know. Do people... Do people that play Call of Duty play Battlefield? I certainly don't. And that's a kill confirmed for you. Damn it. I couldn't see that's that uh, diamond. I can't believe I missed that. I got wrecked by the dog. Oh god, I'm about to get wrecked by the dogs too. Shit. <laughs>
Hey, those dogs went there to die. <laughs> Rip. That's weird. Mortar bras. Really? I think we killed each other. on the boat. Let's go get him. What goes around comes around. I can't believe I didn't kill her. Oh.
Rough game. Today is not your Rough. Day. This guy had the dogs that like lasted forever. I was locked in watching. Nice. Do we unlock anything? Let's see. Let's back out for a sec. Shipment 24-7. What? They brought shipment back? You guys want to see that? That's an old map. It's like an insane map. I heard they were bringing that shit show back. I had no idea, but yeah, we got it. We have it. I see it. Circuity, what's going on, Circuity? Back to lurk. All right, I'll give Lil P her treat. I want to see it with Max play so we can drink your salty tears. There will not be no salty tears, Castle. I'm playing, not you. You're the one that's got the salty tears. <laughs> that Tubby so desperately wants to drink. In Lavishin. Get 100 kills while moving. Wow, that one's going to be tough, probably. Long range kills, okay. Oh, all right, let's see, bayonet. I don't really care about the melee if I'm using the sniper because I'm not going to be really chasing any after anyone really, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, larger one hit kill area accuracy is to try that. The driller. Uh, less downtime after you use equipment. Short stock. Aim down the sight. Short stock for the sniper? What? Look at that. No way. It's crazy. I'm thinking the best one is going to be this one right here, probably. Actually, no, just kidding. The best is going to be this one. Thumb hole. So we'll probably just stick with that. Okay. Not super happy with the choices, but... Headshots. Multi kills. All 
All right, let me grab Circuitee's little peach treat real quick. Hmm. I'm gonna take Ghost. All right, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can find little Pete. Oh, never mind. She's right here, right behind me, Circuitee. She knows it's about time for her treat, and she knows it's about time for uh, her treat ball, too, soon. Totally gonna like paw the whole box. Don't do it, little pee. Alright, she only gets six treats now instead of eight. Cool because I gave her a six and said eight now. I want her to be a healthy weight, Krieg. That's not being cruel. Uh let's see. Shipment baby. <sighs> Gotta be cruel to be kind. That's true. It's what I do to myself. I like have to starve myself to not get fat, basically. And here I am still. <laughs> oh boy. All right, we're gonna play a few rounds of shipment. We're not gonna play shipment the whole time. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. She needs it to stay healthy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Definitely for sure. You want a little pee to be around? Absolutely, Tubby. High five. <laughs> you want a little pee to be around, not a round? That's right. <laughs> that is right. All right, back out of this lobby. Try it again. Give it a sec. Try again. Bye. Ain't no chunk gonna be living in my house. Sorry, little pee. New finishing move. Okay, I'll take it. Highlight intro. That one's new too. I got this one too. Really starting to get sick of seeing the same uh, sort of highlight animations and stuff. So I'm glad I'm starting to unlock new ones now. Like this one slash nice. Actually, I don't mind this, uh, this racket one, but it's a pretty common one. I love this one. I love this one. Yeah, boy. Maybe we can't find a match for shipment 24-7. LOL.
she needs a laugh after that last shot like a maniacal laugh whoa love it all right um hmm. all right let's lobby try again Maybe no one cares about shipment 24-7. How funny is that? Shipment is this really insane map tubby that looks like this. It's from uh, a previous Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and they've brought it back. They even brought it back in uh, the last one. Yeah, it's the shipment con containers, but it's a oh, wicked small. It's this is the entire map, literally. Like you go through here, but then it's like it just goes into the square right here. That's it. Literally, this is it. And you can go through the middle. There's like a cross section in the middle, but that's it. Uh, it is oh, wicked small. You can't play that because of all the transport containers are out in the bay waiting to talk to be unloaded. Oh my god. We yeah, got this this map like I said is right here. There it is. Super small. And if you play domination, these are the domination points. B is hectic as hell. Hectic as hell. Like you basically spawn in and pretty much immediately die most of the time. It is possible to not die immediately. Uh, but uh it's hard. But like I said, it's extremely small. It's extremely chaotic. But I am very disappointed that no one's playing like this mode, so we can't play it. Sorry, guys. Rip. Maybe we'll try it again later. Spawn and die right away. That sounds horrible. You know, you would think so, but it's also kind of fun. It's a bit frustrating, yes, but also kind of fun because uh, you try to survive as long as you can in such a small map. It's a really big challenge. And being able to get any kill streaks at all, dude. The kill streaks on such a small map is insane. Uh, the V, I tell you, is terrible. I know, he said, I'm so sorry, man. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, maybe nothing is happening. Maybe we should just go play Halo <laughs> instead. Maybe we can't play any games. Maybe I'm just gonna exit out of this and come back in. Like server's broken or what? Like what is what is happening? Gotta check the mailbox before it gets dark in an hour. Oh man. Don't remind us. Seaside. Alright, there's an update in Call of Duty right now. They updated something. That's probably why we couldn't find anything, any games. <laughs> so it'll be done in a second. It's like uh, it's over one gig update, but we'll be done. We're eighty-five percent done already. Ninety-nine percent updating, updating. So is anyone into the Halo series by any chance? Anyone played it yet? I heard that the multiplayer is free to play and then if you have Xbox Game Pass when the campaign comes out it'll be free to play as- uh, not free to play, but it will be free to play for you if you have Game Pass. Alright, launching up Call of Duty now. Saw it but I've not tried it. I don't, honestly don't really have an interest in Halo that much. But I have a little bit more interest just because it's free. Otherwise, I wouldn't really pay for it. Uh, but because it's in uh, Game Pass, I probably will try it at some point. 
but it's more of the sort of sci-fi space type. I don't really care for that much these days. I used to play it when I was a kid, when I was in high school and stuff, like 20 years ago. I know that I was super salty when I first got Xbox Game Pass and I wanted to download that Master Chief collection that they had in Game Pass and it didn't work. I couldn't get it to install. I couldn't get it to play. So that sucked. Alright, did they fix anything? Did they add anything? November 11th? No. This is just a random update, I guess. Lamb chop recipe for your discord. Oh, thank god, Tubby. I was hoping you would give me something, because like I said earlier, I haven't, I haven't made cho lamb chops in forever. I... is it a... Uh, sear it on the skillet and then slam it in the oven type of recipe? I was hoping for one of those. I'll, uh, I'll check it out in a sec. Mustard time. You mustard? Mustard. So it's not mustard, mustard? I don't know. Let's see. Make the best and easiest sauce for lamb chops. This creamy mustard thyme sauce is made with garlic, red, or white wine, Dijon mustard, fresh herbs, sea salt, and cracked black pepper. I think everything except the mustard sounds really good. And maybe not the wine part. <laughs> it's got crack in it, so it must be good. I usually skip the wine in uh, recipes that I find. I, I actually usually skip a lot of stuff that I find in recipes just because I don't have it in my pantry or whatever, and I don't. I'm not gonna just go out and get it just for one recipe, usually. to marinate it. Yeah, we don't drink so we never cook. Yeah, we don't like have it laying around the house, the wine stuff. So I'm just like, I just literally just skip it. Yeah, 30 minutes. That's not too bad. Yeah. Sear the stuff. I might, I might go off of this recipe and do something with that. Thank you, Tubby. If it turns out to look pretty decent in uh, after after I make it, I'll uh, post a photo. Post a photo of it in Discord. Ding, ding. Try again with shipment 24-7. Give me something, Call of Duty. Come on. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Had Indian on Saturday. Uh, gotta get the kids to finish that off. Gotcha. W uh, what'd you order? Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. We're in a match that's already been started. That means we're... Oh, nope. It's 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. Oh, they changed it a little bit. It's more uh, Pacific style. It's, I uh, got sand and palm trees and stuff. A little different. It's a new shipment. But the same, basically. Oh, shit. 
on myself. Chicken tandoori, nice. We usually like to get, um, I think DT likes to get chicken sog. And I'll get random stuff. I like the non. Non is like my favorite. Garlic non. Oh, it's not too nuts. It's just the uh, the mustard part was kind of weird for me. I don't really love mustard much. We do have mustard though. We have spicy brown mustard. Is that the same thing? You think? I like a shotgun. Nah, won't be nah. <laughs> oh, he didn't get finished, damn it. I don't think there's any chance of finishing anyone in this uh in this map. I lost audio. get up there all right so this is definitely not just a copy of uh previous shipments this is a little bit different like you can get up here you in the old one you can't get up this high like this interesting interesting captured it. Kill baby. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this map is insanity. All of it. That little like 
tank thing, it's called Goliath, and it's like insane. I was using like a shotgun, the combat shotgun. Boom, boom. Closing with Baker. I picked up someone else's gun. Oh my god, the dogs are super effective in this map. See that little peach tree, brother Xiao. And the hydrate. One by one kill is not right. And while I unload an entire magazine and he doesn't die, yeah, it's. I think the dogs are broken. So close. God, insanity.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, was shipment. Thank you, Circuit T, for the posture check. And uh, I'm gonna grab a little P Street. Looks like she's not here again, so uh, let's go find her. Tubby bottoms with the most explosive eliminations. Nice. Willoughby. Oh, bullets uh, flying everywhere. I know that was insanity. It's actually a really good way to level up your guns and your character XP, actually. Because it's just like constant killing i mean you die too constantly as well but there you have a lot of opportunities uh to get kills uh so remember earlier i was talking about that little tiny tent that we got for little p all right check it out you can just barely make that she's inside the tent and here she is with her head sticking out It's pretty small. She's cute. Alright. Try again. Try again. What the hell was that? A flying chair. LOL. Probably get away, right? Picked up someone else's gun. Shock nasty, what's going on, man? Thanks so much for the follow, dude. How are you doing today, Shock? Take an aim. The guy's name is Google Me, bro. <laughs> Before I decide to get it. it looks fun and intense well this is just a uh, this is a rehash map actually uh chalk i don't know how familiar you are with uh call of duty in general and like the older call of duties or any of the call of duties actually this one is a map uh originally from call of duty modern warfare and they've kind of remade it a little bit to fit into the pacific kind of kind of area uh in the world so it's got a little bit of sand it's got some palm trees type of stuff up there but otherwise it's pretty much the same as uh, the original map with the containers and such and uh, this is really intense this map the other maps are a little bigger and not as uh, insane but if you like the insanity they right now have a 24 7 shipment uh playlist 
Yeah, shipment. Yeah, shipment shop. Containers like that that you can get up onto, which is new. That wasn't like that before. So like right here, you can get up on there, which is kind of cool. Changes it up a little bit. Uh, we launched like a new uh, operator. This is a great map, by the way, to level up your guns. I used to use uh, Nuketown a lot for that, uh, but I don't see a Nuketown yet, yet or ever. Haven't yet seen it. I don't know if they'll put one in there for this game, but. This is turning out to be the map to level up your uh, your weapons and your XPs. Ow! Pay to be a rapper these days, another one just got shot and killed. That sucks. Blue Lightning, how are you today? What's going on? How's your week? map to um practice your really fast sniping skills <laughs> oh this is insane i love it
anyone getting cross-eyed from like all the crazy shit happening on the stream? <laughs> God, these dogs are OP. Oh my god, these dogs. another round of this. My thumb's hurting. <laughs> this, is dude, this is the guy that got the uh, dogs that just murdered everyone. Dab sweats. That's the top win. Absolutely. Wait, is that me? Oh, that's me. I got a lot of defense. Nice. Dinner. What you getting for dinner, Blue Lightning? I think we're going to do lamb chops for dinner tonight. I'm not real sure how we're going to make it. Tubby left a recipe for me in Discord. We may or may not follow. Might use it for inspiration. But I haven't cooked uh, lamb chops in a long time, so we're just going to wing it like a... Uh, all the dinners I usually make. All the meals I usually make. Alright, we're not doing that. Again. For now, at least. Next. Chicken rice. That sounds pretty good. Nice. Hmm. What's, uh, what's everyone else doing for dinner? Mm -hmm. 
recommend Blue Apron. Good meals. I've heard about Blue Apron. Team I, th I thought about using something like that, like uh, Blue Apron or uh, Fresh, whatever, Hello Fresh or whatever. Just to use them as uh, inspiration for recipes. But I haven't yet. Ow. Ow, ow. Sounds like you like it though. That's cool. Yeah. Like I said, I've heard about it. Uh, I'll probably give it a go sometime. Just to try it out a little bit. Been doing it for five years. Oh, wow. Okay. So you definitely like it then. Get lamb and choppy. Yeah, we got the, the rack of lambs. The rack of lamb, rather. Ow. Have you, uh, was that the only one that you tried? Blue lightning though, wait, do you like it because it's a blue apron, blue lightning? Or have you tried uh, any of the other ones? lost that was rough. Do better next time. Uh, did some HelloFresh liked uh, just not as much selection none of the other so far hmm Checking out right now. Take $110 off for the next 30 minutes. Do they give you an example of what they might have? You're gonna hook me up for a free week? Dude, thank you, Blue Lightning. Appreciate that. I love that. Thank you. Roasted half chicken and herb gravy? Yes, please. I pretty much eat anything that's currently on the page that I'm seeing right now. Kill confirmed. Subdue all threats. I would like to try this or the other ones or whatever but i have to look at the menu to see but yeah totally interested thank you blue lighting appreciate it oh god <laughs> my, my my other mouse on my mouse pad got in the way so I have two mouse pads, mouse, m mice. I have two mice on the mouse pad and uh, totally blocked me. That was funny. I really should move it out of the way. Actually, I'll put it right here. Put it up here, actually. Oh boy.
got me so fast. <laughs> that guy's name, I just killed him. His name is Gigantic Midget One. It's pretty funny. get my own tag, right? Alright, let's go around the other way. I'm not sure if that's the guy that was shooting at me. Oh boy. Oh god. Snipers up there. Let's see if we can get them. Get them off the roof. <laughs> the guy right in front of me. Can't see any of the snipers up there.
That means someone's above me. Cause I just denied my tag. closest that I get to snow it hasn't snowed in my air in a while you know I was flying down to uh, Alabama one time years ago really really long time ago you know like ancient times 2008 actually in fact and uh there was like a snowstorm they had snow there I think it was 2008 or 2009 I forget which one it was because I actually I went down I've been down there twice I think once for a wedding and I was flying down there and I got like kind of uh, stuck in uh, Raleigh. I think it was Raleigh, North Carolina, Ra Raleigh or uh, Charlotte. But I kind of got stuck up there because uh, they were canceling all the flights and I had to detour and change my flight to uh, Birmingham, Alabama, just so I can get down there. That was one of the trips that I went down to Atlanta, went over to Atlanta uh, for the aquarium seaside. But yeah, they, they canceled all the flights basically into Montgomery. Woo. And it was like a dusting. It was like nothing. Like I'm from New England, so I'm used to, you know, snow. But uh, it was like a really light dusting and uh they closed down everything and i understand why they don't have you know the equipment to be able to handle it and people don't necessarily know how to drive in it you know because they're not they're not used to snow but uh, i thought it was pretty funny uh north georgia gets snow most of the time oh okay gotcha yeah because that's like mostly like pretty mountainous right we shut down fast in the south yeah so i live kind of like outside of dc i don't live in dc but live kind of outside of dc so while that's not as south as you are seaside in georgia uh i feel like we shut down a lot of stuff here as well which i think is kind of ridiculous but that's how it goes <laughs> this guy's name is squirt cobain it's funny We get real bad ice when it has a light snow, right? Just because it's uh, kind of in between the two and it gets uh, sort of melty, wet. Atlanta sees one flag and Oh, yeah, so you can see you're in Georgia, right? Yeah, Georgia. Wait, you're both in Georgia. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm gonna be right back while this queues up for another one. I'm just gonna rinse out my mouth real quick. Be right back. Team Deathmatch. Take out all enemies. Try not to get yourself killed. We're in 
the lead. the advantage. We have the lead. Keep it up. Oh, muted. Thank you, Seaside. Thank you. Why are you talking to yourself? Don't you do that too, Strickety? I hear you do. We're in the lead. Cause I'm the only one that listens. It's like my second, uh, second favorite pastime. They have the advantage. Right behind talking to Lil P. Of course. Come on. 
saw me over there. Hostiles called for a supply drop. Wow, that was so bad. I can't believe I got him. You missed. <laughs> Thank you, pillar, or whatever. Can I not climb up there? Oh yeah, I can. Here we go. Oh! Not a good spot to climb up, apparently. Another close game. We got really close games uh, today. I didn't do a whole lot though. I stayed back, tried to snipe, tried to level up my uh, car 98. So this is interesting, the blue apron thingy. It shows like what's on the menu for like uh certain weeks. It's like the week of the 22nd. You get this up Thanksgiving stuff. So holy crap, the screen is so bright. The white background is so bright, it's hurting my eyes. And uh I wonder like do they just give you a random one from this week or what? Like I don't I don't know. Deimos. Hey, what's going on, Deimos? How are you, Deimos? Patrol. Hold the objective. It's all riding on this. Bring your why, why the sad face, Deimos? New patrol zone Not so good. Uh, is it... Was it your mom? Bad news, I assume. With your mom? Yeah, I'm gonna look at it again, but we let him get the hookup, so I'll probably try it out and let you guys know how it is uh, in case you guys are interested in it too. In case you guys value my opinion. <laughs> Pro tip get welder glasses, goggles. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, Deimos. I'm really sorry to hear that. Not fun, always, to, uh, have that happen. I'm really sorry, man. I know there's nothing I can do to help, really, but, uh, I'm sorry, man. Wish there was.
I'm literally throwing all these uh, bombs in there as much as I can. <laughs> Grenades and shit. Come on, watch you helps a bit. Hey, that's. Thanks, man. Thanks, Deimos. I'm, I'm glad something helps. <clears throat> Sometimes you just gotta. You just gotta not think about it. And uh, hopefully, with time, it uh, gets a little bit easier. It doesn't. Uh, it will never be easy, but it'll hopefully be a little bit easier. You know what I'm saying? Also, goes good for solar eclipse stuff. So, funny story with that solar eclipse situation. So, I've actually, I've actually seen. You know, you, you guys know that uh, total. Uh, solar eclipse totality, solar eclipse thing that happened. Actually, in fact, five years ago. Why do I know? In 2017, I know exactly why. Because um, I, we were down visiting our friend, and uh, they have a lake house, and that's where I tore my hamstring when I did uh, when I tried water skiing. Because our friend has a, has several boats uh, on the lake. And uh, we were down there for the, the solar eclipse, the totality, whatever, solar eclipse thing. So we went down to South Carolina. And uh, we're in, we were in uh, for South Carolina. It was like the, you could see it 100% completely covered. And oh man, like it's like totality or bust. It's, it was so cool seeing it uh, get dark out when it was the middle of the day. Like, you know, night, night time basically in the middle of the day. It was really cool. And I had these, uh, had my glasses on. They weren't goggles, but they were like, sort of the, you know, those like really bad 3D blue and red type of glasses. Those were the glasses I had. It was like the paper fold out ones. It was super bad. But, uh, no, that was really cool. I forget when the next one is. I think it's in, um, you can see it, uh, like along the line. I think Maine is along that line of 100% totality. So, I forget what that is, like, uh, 2024 or something, it's like, it wasn't super far away, it wasn't like 2040, I remember there being a 4 there, I might be completely wrong, but something like that, um, maybe we'll go check that out, too, that's pretty cool. Note to self, uh, stay away from water skiing. Okay, so, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do water skiing ever again. The next summer or wherever though, we did go, uh, I did try, um, tubing. Our friend convinced me to try tubing. And what that is, is, you know, it's a tube, aka a inflatable donut. Like the ones you would use for like, uh, on the snow, in snow. Well, Seaside wouldn't know because he's never seen snow in his life ever before. <laughs> in Georgia, but, uh, no. Um, or you could use it in the water. So what we did was we used it in the water. My friend was towing the boat. I'm like, just go slow. He was like, well, our neighbor across the street, he's like 10, he does it. It'll be fine. I was like, yeah, fine, okay. If a 10 year old could do it, why not? I could do it, right? Screw it. He, but he also said that he can't go too slow. If he goes, if he goes too slow, like the waves or whatever, it just doesn't work out for that. I was like, all right, well, just go the slowest speed you can go without it being like insanely like rough basically and uh so you lay on your stomach and there's handles so you're basically doing a superman and uh i had a choice of wearing my sunglasses or not wear my sunglasses and i didn't wear my sunglasses because i didn't think that they would stay on my face probably and obviously i didn't want to lose my sunglasses so we were on it I'm on it, rather. And, uh, holy crap, all the water kept, like, flying in my face because, um, this lake was used by people that, like, uh, have, uh, water skis and stuff like that. Water, not water skis, jet skis. Jet, jet skis? Yeah, jet skis. And like, just, like, everything, right? So it's got, like, waves and stuff all over. And, uh, it was not a smooth ride, let's just say. Not smooth at all. So I'm literally, like, like this <laughs> like this and there's like water flying in my face i don't have goggles i don't have anything to protect my face so literally 90 percent of the time i got my eyes closed like this and i'm like like this it's like ridiculous 
And every single time I would uh, close my eyes and open them, close and open, I would see like green and red and like just crazy colors. And I didn't know why. And I figured out why because I looked it up online. And it's because when you close your eyes, it gets really dark. And then when you open your eyes, it's really bright, especially on the water. So something happens with the, the cones in your eyes. I don't know, science, smart things. I don't know why. It's like, it's just, you just like open your eyes and all you see is like red and green and stuff. It was not a pleasant experience. I think it would have been better if I had like goggles, like swim goggles or something to cover my eyes. And uh, I had, con I wear contacts. So I, w I was like really scared that my contacts would fly out of my eyes. So after that, I'm just like, and I, I scraped my elbows. I had like rubber, not burnt, not rubber burn, but like, um, it like burned my skin like raw, like rubbed my skin raw, basically. And I'm like, dude, I wish I wore like a long sleeve shirt, had goggles or something. <laughs> it was not at all really that fun. And I'm like literally just holding on to dirt like, it was like, it was stupid. I was holding on to dear life like my hands were just like red and like oh my god <laughs> second note to self stay off the water period uh i think the only things that we'll do uh in the future with our friend on the boat is just sitting on the boat and not doing anything else like anything at all <laughs> other than sitting on the boat <laughs> does this friend have a life insurance policy uh on yours that you're not <laughs> aware of <laughs> It was crazy. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm done doing all the water sports there. But yeah, I had no idea I tore my hamstring. I had no idea. I tore it, uh, there's, so there's three heads, uh, that your hamstring tendons or whatever connect to, to your, uh, I think it's the ischial tuberosity, which is like your, basically your, sort of your pelvis kind of area. And I tore two out of the three. And the third one was like kind of coming off. And I had no idea. I just thought I kind of like strained it or something. But I finally went to the orthopedic uh, doctor. I found one. And he was like, um, he does stuff for like uh, the football team here, the professional NFL football team here. And so I was like, okay, he's probably pretty, pretty decent. And so he's he's sort of my go-to uh, orthopedic now. Team <clears throat> but yeah, we we like he basically told me he definitely wants to operate, do surgery, whatever. And that's when I had that MRI, which was my first MRI ever. But it was scary. Like he he like had me do the MRI, whatever. And uh, I literally didn't think I would have to get surgery for it. I was like really scared. I was down for like, uh, I don't know, a couple months, I guess. I couldn't, like, our floor has, uh, four floors and the bedroom's upstairs. I had to live downstairs for like a month because I couldn't really do the stairs. I had crutches and then I had this, um, like a brace, like a, it was a knee brace that he gave me so that I couldn't like straighten my leg. It was just insanity, but the recovery on it was fine just okay actually not painful at all for me which was like pretty crazy i think but i healed really well and uh i was able to do everything i could do after b before i had not that had um do everything that i was able to do before i could run again i could do you know kicks again so I, I used to I used to do a lot of Taekwondo and Black Belt, and uh, I used to do the instructor and stuff like that. So I, I used my hamstrings a lot. And then after the surgery, though, I was able to kick again and then insert various uh, running injuries and shit. So that's a different, uh, that's a, that's the story. That's stories for different days. <laughs> Could have been skydiving. I don't know skydiving i don't have a particular interest i think maybe i'm not really scared of heights per se but i think i could be doing other stuff if i'm gonna die from something like that not might not be my top choice i think i don't know like my brother has has uh done skydiving a couple times now 
but he likes it. I don't know that I'll ever do it, but eh, whatever. Good to hear you, Corporal. Thank you, Seaside. Yeah, I did really well. I did PT. That was my first time at PT. And I did really well there. They did this thing called the uh, blood occlusion on me at PT. Hey, I've never been back here before. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know this went around. Um, they did this thing called blood occlusion. Flossing? No, not blood flossing. Blood occlusion. So basically, it's it was a blood pressure cuff, and they had it on a machine that would let it um, squeeze my limb, whatever limb that is that you're working on. For me, it was my leg. So they like squeezed it on my thigh, basically. Holy shit. And uh, basically what happens is uh, you squeeze it and it uh, stops the blood flow in your leg or your arm, whatever it is. And uh, you do your workouts while that's happening. Like it's, it's, the, the blood flow is stopped basically. And then you do your workouts and then you let it out. And then all the blood rushes through again. It's, but you can look it up. Uh, it's supposed to help you, um, it's, it's supposed to help you, like, uh, build muscles quickly, or, like, get strong fast. P people do it with bands, actually. Like, the ones that I use, uh, like I said, it was a blood pressure type cuff thing. That's more like a, uh, medical device. Not really something that you would use at home yourself, basically. Yep, that's also called flossing when you use bands. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I didn't know what it was called, but yeah, same idea then. <laughs> What's up, Bob? How are you, Bab? Uh, yeah, let the blood flow. Let there be blood. And one time we had it on so tight, I thought I was gonna die. Like, it hurts so bad while you're doing it. Because, I don't know, like, the blood flow restriction, it just hurt really bad. And then one time my leg was blue. Like, it had, like, spots on my leg after PT for, like, a couple days. And I was like, oh my god, do we like burst, a, burst some blood cells or vessels or whatever? But I, I told my doctor actually, and he was like, well, just let her know next time. But then it was fine. Like, I didn't have a problem after that. I think maybe it was probably on a little tighter than it should have been. Maybe. But uh, that was the first time they ever used it on a PT patient. So I was the guinea pig. I was not, uh, I was kind of scared about that. Actually. Uh, but you gotta do a couple of tandem jumps so you can do solo, I think. Or at least that's smart. Yes, Owie, yeah. I think you have to do some tandem jumps. You have to do, like, the class, like, the video. Tandem jumps, and then I think you can do by yourself. I guess. I don't know if you'd be, like, certified or something, but yeah. You can't just randomly go <laughs> skydive a solo. PTs make huge profits when they have to give their patients artificial limbs. True. Enemy bombers coming up. Hostile dodge in the zone. Ally glide bomber on the way. Hostile recon in the air. Spies in the sky. Jesus. So they turn your leg blue. Remove the dead limb. <laughs> I mean. In some cases, that could be better. Can we, like, get up here? I saw some people, like, standing up high. Maybe it was just like this. Tails all the time. It's true, true, true. Here is some, like, spatulas. Like you saying ball is that what it's called? It's the like specials. The Blade Runners. Have you flip flipping all over the place? I'm sure that would help my uh my speed. That is the official medical term. Alright, I'll take your word for it, Tubby. Leg spatulas, got it. Blade runners. <laughs> Oh, follow me. 
money for more medical terms tips. Perfect. Uh, speaking of running, tomorrow is my next running day. I think I'm gonna stay with two miles for a while. Um, my foot was like really, like, I was kind of really sore after Monday. Monday's two mile run. That That's okay though, I'm okay with that. That'll give my foot some time to kind <clears> of <throat> strengthen a little bit more and give my cardio time to kind of catch up with the rest of my body probably. So, I'm okay with that, I think. I did run inside, like indoors, on the indoor track on Monday, which is not my favorite, but it is way better than running on the treadmill. I was supposed to go out this morning, but my buddy bailed on me and my kids moved my headphones, so I did not go out. Dude, that's... Those are some really sad excuses, Tubby. I'm sorry, man. Those are really bad excuses. Do you only go when, when your, uh, your friend goes with you, your buddy? Or like, do you ever run by yourself? Ken has cyberpunk prosthetics. <laughs> yeah, that's see, so that's why uh, my Forza character has a prosthetic leg. I'm channeling the Blade Runner situation. I do when I have my headphones. I want to have headphones. Mm. I actually love running without listening to music. Um, one, it's a lot safer to do that because where I go, it's not a whole lot of people, <clears throat> you know? So it, it's just better for me to just uh, be able to hear what's around me, just in case. But uh, I also like hearing uh, the environment, like when I run over leaves or like mud, like the, the, well, I can't do it here, I guess. Can't mimic mud on my desk, but you know, just like the sounds of crushing leaves, the gravel, Little rocks, that kind of stuff. Squish, squish. Exactly. Those are my favorite kind of sounds. I just uh, kind of love listening to those. I also like to hear myself like breathing. So then I can, uh, <clears throat> it's sort of like a reminder to, to smooth my breathing out. Kind of slow my breathing a little bit as well. But I also you like using Eye of the Tiger to kind of motivate it's myself. Right and I use earbuds uh definitely when i'm indoors um because there's no environment sounds like outside plus listening to the music like that like repeating the same music helps me uh it's basically background music that i forget about and helps me concentrate on what i want to work on like uh form wise and uh whatever else kind of forms i'm working on while i'm running it's just background noise basically It's helpful for me to have something going else you know like uh, if people like because it's, it's a it's a gym right the indoor track that i'm running on at the moment while it's cold out and shitty weather there's people around i don't i don't really want to listen i don't i just want to pretend no one's there other than myself so i like having the music there to kind of block out other noises pretty much Um, in basic, my two mile run best time is 12 minutes and 43 seconds. But that was a long time ago though, right? Seaside, I mean, a long time ago. Am I right? <laughs> uh, running on snakes and spiders? Wait, what? Oh, no, running over snakes and spiders. Jumping over snakes and spiders. I like that too. cadence to the beat throws me off yeah that makes sense um i wonder i i haven't uh, been doing the cadence <clears throat> practicing yet tubby uh i think eventually i will but right now i'm just kind of working on other stuff at the moment like form getting my form right again and uh sort of the cardio but uh i did do that uh running clinic thing on sunday last week at my PT place, they were offering a free 
sort of uh, running clinic and uh, we were running on the treadmill. They recorded me with my phone, like kind of just to see my form, how I land and stuff like that. They said my cadence is fine, I'm which I'm a little shocked because I'm pretty sure I run really slow, like cadence wise, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they're full of shit too. I don't really know. I actually was getting back uh better times uh better at my run times and still hurt my back oh that sucks yeah that, that's pretty fast i was just messing with you <laughs> seaside but yeah no, that's that's really good time man shit i would never in a million years be able to run that time that pace just uh just just not me i think someone else can answer that better than me bob but i think cadence is important for being like efficient in your running and basically not wasting energy that you don't need to waste and for people that don't know what cadence is it's basically uh how many times your your foot one like say one foot uh touches the ground when you're running like in one minute you you basically to see what your cadence is you can time yourself for one minute and count how many times your right foot touches the ground for example that would be one way to do that and instead of taking big long like strides you want to take sort of uh small ones about 160 to 190 per minute yeah it depends on like uh depends on the person but yeah that's i think that's about what i heard too played basketball in high school so i was good at running and we used to do cross country in the summer before the season started to get in shape that's really funny seaside because i used to play basketball and i was i'm really bad i was really bad at running like uh i i actually didn't play basketball in high school i played it in elementary school and middle school and I didn't play it anymore in high school. Now, being a short person, you wouldn't think that I would be playing basketball, but I was a pretty good shooter, actually. And uh, I didn't play in high school, though. I just kind of just... It wasn't, uh, wasn't really my thing. I did play, like, uh, recreationally. Just, like, shoot the hoop or whatever. But uh, I never learned how to run, really, until I got older, like, as an adult. Uh, like, uh, probably actually after college, um, I didn't start running until 2008, 2009, 2010, actually. And, like, I don't know about you guys, but in middle school, we had to do, like, the mile in eighth grade, I think we had to do the mile. And uh, you had to run one mile, and it was, like, an outdoor track around the football field or whatever. Oh my god, I could not... I could not do it. I couldn't do it. Um, and gym class didn't really help because, like, I was always athletic, though. But we always did sports. I always did sports that were sprinting. You know, when you play basketball, you sprint down the court with the ball, and then you have downtime while you're waiting for someone to pass the ball, bring out the court, whatever, that kind of thing. I never played soccer, though. I never played soccer, which is kind of a more, more endurance, I think. I didn't play, really play football, either. Um... So I never really learned how to run distance wise. So I would like run like basically say 50 feet and then I had to like walk. And then after I got caught my breath again, I could run again. So I was always like sprinting when we did the mile. So when I got older, I finally decided to like, I actually picked up a book on uh, running like, uh, like minimalist running. And that's how I actually caught on to running, is uh, from those minimal issues. Those Vibram Five Fingers, actually. 
And uh, that's how I like barefoot running, basically. That's how I got into running. And I, I think I have fairly decent form for running. I just haven't done it in a while now for a few months, so it's a little bit off. Exhale in the third step. I don't even pay attention to that. I'm literally like huffing and puffing <laughs> when I run. Like after, like after I kind of get into the zone, I'll try to control my breath a little bit. But what? That's crazy. Hi, Luffy. Hi, baby. Exhale in the third step. Really? That's like I don't even know. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can even do that. Because I'll try to slow my breath down, but that's all I really do with that. With uh, breathing, breathing and cadence. I don't really do anything with that. You time your inhale and exhale based on breaths. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind, guys. Hostile recon in the air. But I think I need to work on my actual form, like make, making sure my foot doesn't fall apart first before I work on cadence. But I will definitely keep that in mind for sure. Um, that kind of stuff. Yeah, just keep going. Out. Yeah, 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 for sure. I think my time on the mile was around seven-ish minutes. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice, Bob. Yeah, my mine was so long, I don't remember what it was. Like, there was, like, I probably didn't make it. <laughs> Basically, pretend if you had to walk the mile, that was my time for it. Murdered. Calling an intel flight. Martin, hostile location. Picadix coming in with a little pea tree, baby. Get out of here, shield kid. What's up, Pickle Dix? Bomb run, baby. Have to go pick up the twins from CrossFit off to piano lesson. Okie doke, Tubby. We'll catch you later. Have a good night. I'll let you know about the lamb chops. I'll see you later, Tubby. Forza, Jeff and A. We might do a Forza stream tomorrow, so keep your eyeballs open for that. Yeah, we got lamb chops, pickle dicks. Tubby gave me a recipe 
for inspiration, so I might go off of that and see how that goes tonight. If it looks good, I'll take a picture and put it in our Discord. Thank you, pickle dicks, for the little peach tree. M, what's going on, M? How are you? Good to see you, M. I'm having a calzone when it gets here. What's in it, though? What's in it, though, Jeff and A? Hey, baby. Chicken? Chicken and broccoli calzone? Haven't had a calzone in a while. <clears throat> How was the pretzel? Do you get to the D's yet? Uh, pickle dicks, we do not get to the D's yet. We finished all the small ones though, I think. Pretty sure. Uh, cause I threw away the Ziploc that I had transferred the small ones into. The uh, little nubby ones. So I don't think we have a second bag of the little nubby ones. Uh, I don't know. That's the only kind we tried though. So we'll have to see what else we got. We're gonna do one more, uh, one more game, I think, guys. And then off to make those lamb chops. Bacon, pepperoni, sausage, and a feta. All of that sounds delicious, except for feta. Mix that, uh, change that, and put in some pepper jack. That would be good. That would be really good. Pretzel nubs, baby. <laughs> What's wrong with feta? Is it too fancy? It's not too fancy. It's I just don't like it. I don't like that, and I don't like blue cheese. Patrol, capture the objective. Hope you're ready for a real fight. Zone. Can live on pepper jack for the rest of my life. Yeah, pepper jack is my favorite. I don't like cheese too much. I like sort of like the more mild cheeses if I had to pick. Like mozzarella is fine. I like pepper jack though because it's a little spicy and I like a little bit spicy. You ate a whiskey cheese? Interesting. What is that? What does moldy cheese mean? That sounds really gross because it's moldy. Like, wh what kinds are moldy cheeses? Like, blue cheese looks like moldy. Feta seems. I don't know. Like, what about goat cheese? I, I like. Uh, I like. Mozzarella, Parmesan is okay. Just a little bit of it, though. Gouda is fine. Um, there's an M1, I think, and I forget what the M1 is called. Not mozzarella, some M1. Swiss is fine. I like Swiss. Colby's fine. Basically, when I was younger, the only cheeses I ever ate was literally cheese on pizza. Munster. Yeah, I like Munster cheese. Um, cheese on pizza, which is mozzarella. And cheese you would get, say, like a hamburger, like a cheeseburger. Which is cheddar cheese. Usually. And that was the only ever kind of cheeses I ever ate when I was younger. So I was not very exposed to cheeses. American cheese? American cheese is alright. Cheddar cheese, American cheese. would it be right i don't know nacho cheese i like nacho cheese <laughs> the 
about squeeze cheese? I like string cheese. Wax, uh, as far as I can tell. Nice. Cheese whiz. Um, never had cheese whiz before. That's the stuff that comes in a can, right? I mean, if it comes in a can, may as well get the get a whipped cream instead. If it comes in a can, <clears throat> much rather have that. Cheese comes in a jar. What's the one that squeezes? Uh, it's like the whipped cream one. What's that one? Ah, oh, shit! I was trying to finish him. I didn't realize he was facing forward. I screwed that one up. Squeeze cheese? Easy cheese? I thought that was cheese whiz. I thought Cheese Whiz was the one that comes in the, the bottle thingy. No? Hmm. Do I like Velveeta? Um... Never really had it. So I don't know, I guess. Well, what do you... What do you eat with Velveeta? Used for grilled cheese. Uh, I never really ate grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is fine, but I don't really eat grilled cheese. I think we had it once though. Like we had it in the fridge. We tried it before. Or mac and cheese. Mm. So yeah. So I didn't grow up eating a lot of uh, dairy items. So like I said, I'm not. I'm not really fluent. In those kind of things. I think I forget if someone's uh rip. I like mac and cheese though. Yes, I do like mac and cheese. But as a side. I don't think I can eat mac and cheese as a meal, like the whole thing. It's just a little much. But I do make a good uh, bacon mac and cheese. Just got the craft craft blue box mac, baby. Is <laughs> the powder cheese and craft mac and cheese really count as cheese? For some people, it's the only cheese they know, like myself. Pulled pork mac and cheese is really good. That sounds pretty good. Stay away from cheese in the dry section of the grocery store. Sus. Oh man. See the hydrate castle. Have to wait a minute though. We're so close the game. Suppose the benefit of powder cheese is that it's already melted. <laughs> That's true. Just add water. Oh, let's go, champ.
for report. Keep tell on the way, comrades. Patrol zone. Ah, oh, no. There's a market for cheese flavored drink. Yes, there is actually. Oh, yeah. There's um what the hell's it called? There's just like these drinks. They're like boba basically, but I forget what they're called. They're like cheese with the Contact. cheese cap or cheese foam or something on it. I've never tried it, but it sounds really weird. We never had charcuterie. I don't even know how to say that word. I know you always have it with our mutual friend, but because it's got a lot of cheese on it, I'm not into the cheese stuff. Probably. I like. I'll eat the meat. I'll eat them eat the I'll eat the meat off of it. I'll meet the eat. <laughs> I'll eat the meat off of it. Attack dogs inbound for you. Still talking about food? Of course. What else would we be talking about, Creed? We don't talk about the game. Of course not. Why would we talk about the game? Oh, that was a tough Secret loss. Charcuterie. Okay, that was close. Char, char instead of char, I guess. Okay, cream cheese foam green tea, jasmine tea with cheese, cheese foam, cheese foam. I'm telling you, that's the thing. I saw it on a menu one time. I was trying out this new boba place and um, they had cheese foam stuff. I, I don't know. I couldn't get myself to try it. Just creepy. All right, that's the last game for us, guys. I think we leveled up enough today, probably. Let's check out our stuff. Zambardi grew up with the finest things in life. What is cheese milk foam well, tea? It's not a straight up block of cheese and cheese tea. That <laughs> sounds gross. You get the sweetness of the sweetened black tea or green tea with the sweet and salty combo of the cream cheese topping. The cheese foam is often made with cream whipping cream, milk, and cream cheese before topping it all off with a pinch of rock or sea salt. See, I'm not really a big fan of uh, sweet and salty. I'd rather it just be salty or just sweet. So this sounds not that great for me. But now, I mean, I would try it, but I don't think I'd like it, probably. Cheese tea from a place that has Canada in their name, Bob. Cheese tea is the next milk tea trend you need to try. I mean, it looks... It would definitely put a dessert-like twist to your normal green tea. I mean, let's see. Loose leaf, jasmine tea, hot water, ice, cream, cheese. Monk fruit blend, so that's the sugar. Whipping cream, half and half, and sea salt. 
I don't know. The sea salt part doesn't sound so great. I think the... I bet you the cream cheese part just makes it creamy. Like, like, like a milk or whatever. So it's probably fine. But the salt... I don't know about the salt. You have to really love uh, some cheese to drink that? I don't know. <clears throat> I think it just makes it creamy. Like, like a creamy flavor. It probably doesn't really taste all that cheesy. I bet. But I don't know, because I haven't tried yet. I mean, that literally just looks like it's cream in it. I'm going to start gathering powdered cheese packets from craft boxes and come up with a cheese drink. And then... Yeah, profit. And then profit. <laughs> you're you're pretty good at being salty. <laughs> no, Jeff and A, that's, uh, that's Castle when he plays Call of Duty with me. Any other ones? I mean, it just kind of looks like whipped cream, mostly. Cream cheese home. Foam. Homemade boba. I mean, this looks really good right here. In fact, from Rachel Ray, as a matter of fact. That looks really good, whatever that is. Mm hmm. Well, if I ever try it, I will let you guys know. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good right next to my face. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's not a cheese block in your drink. It's just, it's like cream cheese, like whipped, whipped cheese of sorts. So it's not really a block of cheese. I think it's just going to be creamy. I don't think it'll be, I don't think you're, you're going to be biting into a block of cheese. Up next, try our new baked beans drink. Well, they do have red bean drinks. Bab. I like those. It looks interesting. I would try it, but uh, it's not on the top of my list, I think. <laughs> okay. What? Don't diss my Swiss Miss. I love my Swiss Miss. That's my hot chocolate right there. What's this blue one? Why is it blue? Super weird. I like the purple one, taro drinks. I like those. Now I'm just hungry. Now I just want, uh... Now I just want boba and milk tea now. And I didn't have bo- I, I didn't have, uh, milk tea today. Now this one looks weird. The growing boba bubble. What's on this? Honeycomb toffee, honeycomb bubble tea. I don't know. The whole bubble tea phenomena is like insane now. But now we got cheese foam. I'm gonna have to try that. Let's see what's up. They got like milk foam too, which is probably milk foam was probably fine, because milk foam is probably just uh probably just tastes like cream. Probably doesn't taste like anything actually. Cheese flavored boba. Ooh. Popping cheese bubbles. How about my wife was drinking some of that boba tea today? I drink a lot of the that stuff. Like I don't drink a lot of the boba anymore, like the bubbles, because they're just starch. It's just calories. Um, but I usually instead of coffee, I'll drink milk tea. Which is basically a Hong Kong style version of coffee, pretty much, which is just black tea and some sort of cream and some sort of sugar. Usually it's like a, you can do like condensed milk. That would work for it, but pretty easy to make. But by adding all that stuff means less tea or coffee in the cup or mug. That is true, Craig, but if you're looking for mostly tea if you're looking for tea or coffee this is not for you this is just sort of a combination of stuff all i know the starches well the the bubbles the boba like the the tapioca things those are just starch 
because that's what that's what tapioca is. It's uh, it's like a flour. It's just basically it's just calories. You're a flower? What are you, Castle now? Castle makes those uh, comments to me all the time. I'll like say something, be like, you're a boba tea. You're a boba. You're a cheese foam. What about a mix of half tea and half coffee? Bob Cobb, that is called a yin yang milk tea. I have that too, actually. It's okay. Sometimes it's a little too bitter for me. But yeah, they have that too. Half coffee, half milk tea. How about half coffee and half cheese? Sounds gross. <laughs> Sounds really gross. Yeah, it is like when you order a latte, you get three quarters of foam in the cup. I don't know. People like the foam, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't order lattes. I don't, I don't do lattes. How about half ice cream and half strawberries? How about 100% ice cream, 100% strawberries? Cheese is a dairy product, can't be that different than cream or milk. Why don't you let us know and uh, why don't you try and let us know, bro Xiao. Let us know how that goes for you. Uh, we are making headway with our battle pass, guys. We got 14 days left. We need 27 uh, levels. We're like, we're almost there. Like, I think if we keep grinding my life away in this game, we might hit 100 before this ends. Sweet iced tea? Oh, sweet tea, for sure. For sure, Seaside. Half tea, half coffee, and glizzy to stir with. I like that. Then you get your little bit of salt in there as well, Ellie. <laughs> I already know how it'll go. You'll throw up and then you'll rip. Got it. <laughs> oh boy. All right, guys. You know I love talking about food, guys. So that was that was amazing. I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna make those lamb chops. Uh, if it looks any good after I make them, I'll post the post the picture in our Discord. If you guys are new here, smash that follow button. And join our Discord for off stream, on stream, I'm chilling. Thanks for the hydrate and the posture check, Owie. chop it up i would chop it up hopefully it looks good hopefully it tastes good all right guys have a good day have a good uh evening the rest of your evening we'll talk to you guys and we'll see you guys tomorrow and uh we'll see you guys tomorrow have a good one guys love you all thanks for being here appreciate you guys supporting us catch you guys um, bye